how are you? Hi, everybody. How are you today? Uh, happy Monday. Happy Monday. I've never been so excited on a Monday, especially when I had a busy weekend like I did last week. I usually be like, oh, hey, what's up? No, these stories are so damn good and so damn juicy. I cannot wait to talk about it. It is exciting. But first, let me pay the bills. You know, we are in partnership with Ilya Wine. Um, they're sponsoring today's video. I love my wine. I say it every video. Oh, and I forget this every video. I love my wine. And you guys have been coming through, clicking on the link for the wine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially overseas. What's going on, Perry? They're really hey, interesting. You know, what though? you know, people like to hang out and do what we do. You drinking the wine, I'm gonna drink the lager. People wanna hang out and relax and just chill. Yeah. And that's a good spot to go. Put up Ilya your lager. Mm-hmm. So here we got here we are guys. Perry's got his lager and I got my wine. You guys keep coming through. We need a bottle today for what I'm about to talk about. Anyway, uh here is the barcode. You can scan that or you could go to the link that I put in the description and at checkout you type in the promo code world10 for 10% mm -hmm. off. I don't know what's going on and why you guys are clicking on it. I'm really appreciative and um, just keep doing it. You guys, let's keep supporting this black owned company. Let's keep supporting them. They keep doing it. They enjoy fine things too, Trina in life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. A uh, wine time. I should start doing this at night with the wine. Maybe I should, I don't know. But anyway, we got some good stuff to talk about today. It is so, so good. We're going to talk about uh, Kim Zosiak. Uh, filing for a divorce after 11 years. We're going to talk about Steve Harvey and Tasha Kay. So I'm going to talk about Steve Harvey. Uh, I think, in my opinion, striking down anyone's videos that do anything about his wife. He wants it down. And it started with Tasha Kay. We'll get into that in a minute. And then we're going to talk about last night's episode. The best part of last night's episode was not what was going on on the screen. It was what was going on behind the scene. This is so, so good. Atlanta was great last night. They're giving me much to talk about. This is going to be a fabulous season. I must be messy because the girls are going at it. Trey wants a uh, candy fire. And I thought... Damn. I thought Kathy doesn't, I mean, Sheree doesn't have that kind of pull. Come on, Sheree. You're like, you barely made the cut yourself, but it might happen because she's going, she's uh, playing Candy's game. This is mm -hmm. These women are insane. Okay. Let's, let me put it that way. Uh, um, let me turn down my radio really quick. My speaker. Hold on. Happy Monday, everybody. She'll be back in a second. Happy Monday. That should be better. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Someone said, I thought it was boring. Mm -mm. This is the, it's the first episode. It's so damn good. It's so damn good. Hey, uh, but boring. let's start out with this Steve Harvey, Tasha K situation. Okay, hold on. Um, because this is crazy. So it's being reported today that Tasha K, I'm sorry, Cardi B has, what's the word, Perry? Garnished, Garnished. Yeah. another $650, $650 out of Tasha K's uh, YouTube. This was only her sponsor money. Now listen to me and listen well, okay? I want to say it without saying too much. There's no way in hell, no way in hell that Tasha K with a million, over a million subscribers, she's uh -huh. making more and more. She's getting back to where she was. Her fan base has not left her. That she only made nine thousand dollars. Remember, they took that last week. Yeah, ain't no way. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, I'm part. Pardon me. Six hundred and forty dollars. I'm trying to tell you, there's just no way in hell that Tasha K is making that kind of money. It's way, way, way too low. <laughs> Tasha K allegedly pays uh, people in for her interviews. She finally admitted it, and there's nothing wrong with paying for interviews. Four to ten thousand dollars. So that could be that's she's that's what she pay on an interview. 
with my two interviews like that. It's just no way in hell. So it's obvious. Okay. Thank you, uh, Queen Black. It's obvious that Tasha K has hid her money. There's just no way. I'm telling you. I'm going to release people that already said how much they make. If Funky Dineva makes forty to $50,000 a month, it's just no way in hell. A every blogger says she didn't hit that money. She didn't hit uh -huh. that money. Right, right. And probably when the rumors were out, when she went to uh, Africa, you mm -hmm. know, something was going on. She, that, I don't think the money in the state. Then she says that uh, her channel isn't monetized. So, in a sense, what she did was render her channel useless, okay? When they garnish your check, they can't take the full amount. They can only take 50%. Unfortunately, I know. Well, that's another thing. Tasha K says that Cardi didn't get any money. She didn't get $1,000. But every other uh, network is reporting that she did. Let me read this really quick. Cardi B is set to seize a modest three-figure sum from blogger Tasha K, who owes her over three million after losing in court to the rapper. Radar Online has learned. As we first reported, Cardi has been on the hunt for the money she's owed from Tasha. Last year, the Kodak Black, the yellow, the Kodak yellow rapper was awarded a million in general damages, 250,000 in medical expenses for a grand total of 1.2 million. On top of that, Cardi was awarded 1.5 million in punitive damages and another 1.3 for attorney fees. Okay, where is this? I'm trying to get to the part, I'll just read the whole thing. Uh, Cardi sued Tasha over a series of allegations she made on her YouTube channel. In videos, the blogger claimed that Cardi had worked as an escort used hard drugs, and had an STD. The musician denied the allegations. Yay. Hi, V. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hey, v. Hi. Okay, let me keep going. The uh, musician denied the allegations and claimed her reputation had been harmed. In court, Cardi took the stand and told the jury the situation had caused her extreme emotional distress. Um, she said the videos caused her stress, which led to her marriage... Uh, with offset suffering, only an evil person could do that, Cardi said on the stand when testifying about Tasha. As we first reported, Cardi fired off a series of subpoenas to track down Tasha K's assets. This is so good. Uh, she first served J.P. Morgan Chase, where Tasha has a bank account. The bank said Tasha only had $1,083 in her account. Cardi then served Google, who owns YouTube to see if Tasha had any adver advertisement money owed. You are hereby commanded to immediately hold all money, including wages and other pro property, except what is known to be exempt, belonging to the defendant or obligations owed to the defendant name above beginning on the day of service of the summons and included the next 1,095 days. So she's got a time limit of finding this money. A rep for Google informed Tasha K that Tasha had $9,304 in her, in her YouTube account. Cardi was awarded the cash. Now, I read this whole thing to get to this line because it was reported by every outlet that Cardi B seized $9,000 from Tasha K. But Tasha K, hey, Bonji, so great seeing V. I've been thinking and praying for you. Oh, that's so Thank sweet. Thank you, Bonji. Hi, Bonji. How you doing? But Tasha K came out and said that uh, Cardi B did not get that $9,000 because she signed some waiver called head of the household. But every place is saying, no, that's not true. So I don't know. I'm just reading what is going on? Because it's getting really fascinating. Uh, according to a newly filed document obtained by Radar on Online, the Google rep has informed Cardi that they have another 640 owed to Tasha. Cardi now will be able to seize the amount. So I don't know if she took the 9,000, didn't take the 9,000. Now they're talking about $640, but it's bigger than that. We are way more to talk about. Tasha K has hid that money. This weekend, if you ask me, this is my opinion, is no facts, my opinion. 
And this weekend, she went on vacation. <laughs> so I'm not making this up. <laughs> she went on vacation. She is smiling and rubbing it in Carmody's face like you're not going to get your money. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now, I know that Cardi B said she's not stopping until she runs Cardi B, until she runs Tasha K off the Internet. This is really getting good because both sides are claiming victory. Now, Perry, she has demonetized her channel. It will not be making any money anymore. And she gets hundreds and thousands of views over there. That channel can easily make money. But in my opinion, she's rubbing it in Cardi's face. You're not getting a dime. Mm -hmm. And they have what they call forensic investigators to go through and track the money and find where it is. So in the meantime, Cardi B is steady spending money on trying to find Ta Tasha's money. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's turned into a circus act, hasn't it? So Cardi is spending millions of dollars to find Tasha's money. And I bet you, this is just my opinion, that money's hidden somewhere, probably in her mother's name because she had like a whole year. She probably started saving maybe three years. She had a long time to hide money. Right, no, I get it. And if that money's out of the country, that judgment means nothing. So she would have to find the money here in the United States. Child, yeah, did she outsmart Cardi B? To me, she doing what's, what comes naturally. Are you going to be a sitting duck and sit there and put all your money in the bank and wait for Cardi to come and get it? Or are you going to be smart enough to say uh, 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 hide the money if you mm -hmm. find it, you can have it. If you find it. If you find it. And, and I guarantee you that money is nowhere in the U.S. So only thing that Cardi has left to do, I'm sure she's still trying to find money. Like, what, $650? To, she she pays $1,000 on her shoes alone. Like, $650 is nothing. Right. Even the, the 10000 I mean, 9000 is nothing to Cardi B. Nothing. So... So I, I don't know. Spending, I'm thinking Tasha stop, outsmarted her. Stop spending, huh? money to get money. stop spending money to to get the money. She's am I gonna money. pay? Am I gonna spend a million dollars for nine thousand? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, but at this point, we can look at it as her outsmarting the system. I'm not even gonna say Cardi B at this point in time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But one thing she can't shift overseas is her property. And United States. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I okay. forgot about that. And so, uh -huh. like, you know how somebody can take off leading the race, but then find out they got caught? That's going to be Tasha at the end of the day. You, you think opinion. it's going to catch up with her? Yes. How, how Perry? Okay, okay, listen, I listen. Okay, well, I know. I know. I mean, we're going to have different agreements. I'm mm -hmm. just simply saying, if mm -hmm. you owe me this money and you got court orders to get it, and had... The judge have, I mean, uh, from what I heard, have said that, you know, you get to freeze and stuff, you know, since the court case start, she went against the court if, if that's what she did, if that's what she did, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. where her damn money is, but I'm telling you, it'll catch up to her so she can laugh, be spiteful right now. Uh, you got $640 while I'm on vacation, all this stuff. People always think it's funny. She thought it was funny before they... Uh, Laid the hammer down and said she owed for me. Harry, you know I love you, <laughs> but they can't touch that money overseas. There's okay, no way in no. hell Tasha okay. hid that money. If she hid it, I don't I'm know. Not I'm saying that they can touch the money overseas, right? Mm -hmm. But if Tasha want to live, house, if Tasha want to live well in the United States, if mm -hmm. they if, if Cardi B took her properties, where's she gonna mm -hmm. live? Now she can go and rent a place, which she's doing, right? Mm -hmm. In or Miami, already, she's doing that. Already. Yeah. Well. Look, I'm just telling you my opinion. I think it's going to catch up with her. We can debate it and act like she's this mad genius. But <laughs> she's going to get caught with it. I'm, I'm trying to tell you now. Well, I, 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 I like to hear Perry's opinion, but I, my, in my opinion, uh, if Cardi go, wants to keep spending money, uh, to to get by the time Cardi get through spending money to get yeah. what Tasha Kate owe her, she gonna be well over what Tasha <laughs> owes her. So let it go, Cardi, and 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 Tasha just found a way to get around the system. That's what people do. Yeah. Now I heard thing. this personally from a very good friend, 
that's good friends with Tasha with a uh, Cardi B. And this person told me Cardi B does not plan on giving up. She's in financially too deep and mm-hmm. she's still Tasha's still playing with her with the cockiness. You know, she's on vacation. Right. She's on vacation. Yep. And <laughs> allegedly yeah. only have, oh, this is so good. Hey, Diva. Hey, Diva. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you made it. We got to talk about Atlanta. But really quickly, Diva, uh, they're saying that Tasha demonetized her big channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cardi took a, is going to get another $640. That's mm-hmm. nothing. And remember, you even said backstage when we were talking, you said Tasha Kaley makes $10,000. No, she does only make $10,000. Mm-hmm. She has demonetized that channel, and that channel is not going to be making any money. She's going to get all of her fans. I don't know if all of them are going to go, mm-hmm. but a good portion, mm-hmm. a good portion is going to go to the app. And um, let me read these super chats really quick. Mm-hmm. What's up, Sherelle and Perry and V and What's everyone? Up? I hope y'all had a good weekend. I hope y'all weekend went well. I'm glad V is here. I'm praying for y'all. Oh, that's oh, so thank sweet. you. Thank you. Oh, John thank says, you, John. hi, V, missed you. I didn't, Listen, I don't even know why V is here, but she got some candy stuff to get off her chest. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but that's what's going on with Tasha K. There's no way in hell that Tasha K makes 9000 a month. Right. Let, let uh, especially, see, I went me, back and I looked at her numbers. Right, she's doing better than Funky Dineva, and he's pulling in thirty to forty. That so, part. yeah, he's, he's pulling in the views. Let me let me tell you something. This is a case of you can run, but you can't hide. Right. Oh, wow. so she so she can run and hide in every corner. She can duck. She can play games. She could demonetize her channel, but the judgment is written in stone. OK, so she could play all these games at the end of the day, whether it's 2023, 24, 25 or 2030. OK, she's still going to owe Cardi B that money. So yep. you know what? Play all the games you want to play. And thank you. You put on the joke for these folks out here. OK, uh-huh. it's a key key and a ha ha. They don't care nothing about you that day. But here's the thing, Diva. She's uh-huh. spending more money. To find this woman's money, is it worth it? Am I going to spend two, three million dollars to get my hands on eighty thousand dollars? If you got it, they yeah, and, and, her, she got one of those broken bags. She got broken bags all up in her walking <laughs> closet for days. Okay, so if I got to not get one broken bag to show this chick that I ain't playing with her, then I want less broken bag. She don't listen, get it on. Listen, this is this is this is uh. Tasha K's attitude. As long as I owe you, you'll never be broke. Well, okay. And then she would never have a damn thing either. Look, people can say this stuff, D, and I get it. Like, mm-hmm. well, I don't care about this. It's out, it's out in the When Cardi B finally get hope to that property that she owned, that house mm-hmm. in Atlanta or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that she's going to have to keep spending millions to find out the money. The initial payment going into it, she's going to find this stuff of Tasha's. But she's paying the lawyer to find it. She's not looking for it herself. Tasha gonna find herself living at rental center. Because that's what <laughs> I, I can't. No, no, no. Let me roll into this next story really quick. Because uh, we spent 20 minutes talking about Tasha. Um, <laughs> now let's roll into Tasha into the next story. Now we will need to talk about Steve Harvey. Okay, mm. so it's being reported that Steve Harvey was fuming upset with Tasha Kay. Because Tasha K interviewed Marjorie's ex. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I did a story on it and I was one and done. I didn't want to keep talking about Steve Harvey every day. I just didn't. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. And, and he probably could have went after um, Tasha, but that channel's not monetized. Mm-hmm. She can put anything she wants on there. She can play music. She could do anything that's really not allowed at YouTube because she's not getting paid for. So, again, looks like she outsmarted Steve Harvey. But it looks like he went after other bloggers. And mysteriously, someone tried to take my video down about Steve Harvey. It wasn't even that serious. I didn't even give a damn about Steve Harvey. You know what I mean? Like... I just t- told the story. I said it was a good interview, and I was one and done. But now I'm gonna have to drag this out. I'm dra- <laughs> now I got to do another Steve Harvey the next four days because I didn't do anything wrong in the video. Nothing. So well, you, it feels like he's trying to take down 
any videos mm -hmm. that made Mar Marjorie look bad. Mm -hmm. right. And he has that reputation. And I remember it happened another time before. He goes after bloggers. And now he can't touch Tasha K. She could say what she wanted her app and still make money on that. And the big channels demonetized. Thank you for the super ch ch a sticker, Francine. So, you know, this is a whole hot mess. And you guys know how I am. I don't like being told or if the, if it was him, I don't like anybody telling me what I can't say. And mm -hmm. I will hold a grudge on you till I can't hold it anymore. And I don't like to hold grudges. I just don't want people telling me what to say on my channel. There are a lot of channels like that. And that's OK. If you're a yes man channel, that's cool. But not over here. I'm not a yes man channel. I speak my mind. People get upset because I speak my mind. So yeah. many people get upset before <laughs> because I speak my mind. But what's the use of having a channel if I'm going to be working for someone else? You know, uh, no, I don't know if I'm going to be working. If I just have to mm -hmm. say everything nice about Cardi mm -hmm. D. I, I, to me, it's not worth having a channel. And right. I like giving my opinion. Some people say, you're too big now. Just tell us what happened. And, leave. and no one cares about your opinion other channels for that too i'm just this trying to watch. tell you so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those oh now kim zosia child okay so it was uh brought up early this morning that mm -hmm. kim Zosiak owed a million dollars in back taxes mm. for first the house okay who i think it's just, just my opinion i don't i can't say for sure that andy saved her from, uh -huh, uh -huh. from the uh, you agree from yeah. the auction and now mm -hmm. they're saying that she filed for a divorce after 11 years okay so here's the thing a lot of people in the comment section was saying that she's doing this because of that million dollar lawsuit but according to perry tell tell him what because i don't do taxes what did you say perry i don't see where it make a difference that ta back taxes uh, is under both of their names. They both names are on the, those taxes. So they can go to divorce court and they can decide how they want to separate it or however they want to do it. Mm -hmm. But just to pull a stunt to say, I'm getting divorced, it's not going to clear her up with really anything. I think the reason why she's getting a damn divorce uh -huh. is because that's the kind of person she is. Damn. Right? You think that's she'll sort of leave him after is. all this time? Well, I mean, look. And he doesn't even I, talk to his family because of Kim. <laughs> I, I know, because he's sad and pathetic, too. Right? Oh, any, man, yeah, yeah. any man that's going to go and pick her up and drop her off at Big Papa House so she can make a couple of dollars and then pick her up and come back should have known she would do the shit to you. It yeah. is a bigger right. question here. Let me read this really quick. Tasha K said she sold all her property during the trial to pay for her lawyers, and now she rents. Yep. I have to check into that. I really thought I was under the impression that she still owns the house in Atlanta, but maybe she did. I have to say, Tasha seems to be outsmarting Cardi, but it's a different, that's a matter of opinion. Right. Anyway, back to them. Oh, Is Andy going to pay the tax lien? I, I just want to <laughs> say, oh, I'm sorry, Perry. Did I cut you off? Oh, no. Okay. I just want to say Kim Zosiak will do anything if, it's, if she thinks it's making her look bad. You know, it's looking bad that the husband ain't worked in, I don't, in 99 years. That's another so question, V. Why isn't, uh, what's his name, Croy? Why isn't Croy working? He th he think he's too rich. But now that she's losing the house, now she want to divorce him. Mm -hmm. Kim Zosiak ain't nothing but a fake. She does anything to make herself look good. Damn, yeah, welcome yeah. back, V. Kim, Kim, <laughs> Kim, yeah, let me tell you something. And that, that's a fact. And he should have known it and seen it. Kim ain't looking for no broke daddy. She looking for a sugar daddy. And if his ass yeah. ain't worked and yeah. ain't making no money, he ain't nothing but a, a, a crisis to her. And she You're gonna right. release it. Let him go. And then she'll go on to some other uh, sugar daddy. You know, go ahead, Diva. he hasn't worked since the day they met. <laughs> so, so, so. I mean, she knew what she was getting into. They knew what they was doing with each other. But you know what? They thought they was all of that. And it was over <clears throat> since the day they got together. When they rented the house that they got married in, when they mm. both disrespected their parents. I don't know how oh. their life was going to go well after that. They both started speaking to the parents. Mm. You know, they, they hung on by a thread with that Don't mm. Be Tardy show because nobody was oh my watching. God. 
If I okay. had to look at one more, one more season. Damn, that, y'all are show. dragging. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so she wasn't making money, but now that the whole world is coming crashing in on them, they running scared. I feel like I could be wrong. I feel like this is a scheme set up out of both of them. They think that they're going to outsmart the rest. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they feel like for somehow maybe they think if they divorce, um, they can somehow avoid some of these bills and on the world come crashing down. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I smell something not right. Here. I kind of agree with Diva. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but she was too in love with Croy. They got uh-huh. a gang of kids. Divorce just doesn't seem like something they would do, but maybe it's some way of scheming. Maybe she'll come back as a single woman on the show that Andy's going to give her something maybe like Andy, that. Maybe Andy will feel sorry for her and let that sorry show come back on. And, and then, right. then she can get back hooked back up with loser uh, Croy after the show gets <laughs> back started again. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be a storyline. Yeah. It could be a lot of things. It could, like, be, it could be a lot of stuff. We'll keep at the same time, I just know what kind of person she is. And, and you know, and people can go back and say, well, Oh, she got so many kids with Troy, uh, Croy, and she loved them so much. She loved cash. Right. Okay. All right. right, Let me read this because we got to get to Atlanta. Atlanta's so good. Hi, everyone. Since they can only, wait, since they can also only take a percentage, AdSense also, therefore, if she would make a hundred, is that a mil? Uh, She would still get half of it. So Tasha also loses. 10,000, yeah. Well, we'll but, see. Yeah, gotcha. uh, yeah. Kim is smart. She filed because he is now broke. Y'all, it's a lot. But let me get to yeah, it. So, oh, we got one. Hey, Freddie's in the building. Hey, Freddie. Hey, Freddie. Hey, Freddie. I'll drop the link, Freddie, if you want to come up. <laughs> I was just going too fast. Hold on. I'll let you know when I drop the link, Freddie. That's going too fast because I had a do this really quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk about Atlanta. So last night was amazing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't what was going on on the show that was amazing. It was going on behind the scenes. What's amazing? Because we heard all week about can no Sheree and Marlo's plan to really get Candy fired. And I kept saying I don't think they have the uh, what's the word I'm looking for. They don't have the. The, that power. kind of power. Freddie, I'm yeah. dropping you the link. I don't think they have that kind of power to mm-hmm. get uh, Candy fired. But last night was so good because they were live tweeting, okay? And they were going in on each other. It was so good. And I had forgot that Sheree is the queen of reads. Who going to check me, boo, and all that? Mm-hmm. It's so, so good. Hold on, let me start reading. It's so good. I loved every minute of it. It is so good. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. And I was just screenshotting. I'm just screenshot shot uh shotting. It's not in any certain order. Uh this is Candy. Candy says, Did she just say Broadway wasn't working for me? Please keep hating. It's working for me. Okay, because you know she got these awards, she got uh, nominated for some awards. Mm-hmm. And these aren't in any order. I was just screenshot. I was like, oh, screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. Uh, Sheree says community service because she got mad because uh, Candy called Martell community property. She says community service, community property. You should know formal, co- former community puss. Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Damn. Uh, hashtag who gonna check me boo <laughs> <laughs> oh candy you gotta come up with something better good this for that. is so good and candy responds you sure being you show be going hard for somebody who's been giving hard ping to everybody but go but go off sis Okay, that's not Candy. You got to learn how to read. These women read. Okay, you got to learn how to read. You it, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Sheree was talking about this one. I just uh, did I miss one? Uh, Sheree says when you rent when you rent a man. She's talking to Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> when your rent a man gets delivered, then I don't know what IMK means. So we can go on a double date. Uh, and so, know, somebody said. Know eating them up because Sheree was coming with the one-liners. It was so good. I don't know what she meant by this one. Are you trying to age shame? Huh? What she meant by this one is 
when uh, she said Sheree can't have no baby or she don't have a menstrual cycle or something. Oh, something that's to, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is so good. It's so good. Uh, are you trying to age shame? Talk what you know, not what you assume. Mad because you don't have any. Don't know what she was talking about because this this was in the mist. This <laughs> then Sheree p- posts this. It says maybe. I should have gave her some KFC. She's talk about the damn. I dropped the link for you, Freddie, but I'm, uh, yeah, Freddie's backed up. I need Freddie on this panel. <laughs> okay, just let me go as fast as I can. The next week, Perry, I mean, uh, Freddie, I'll send it to your, the link to you, to your IG before we go on. No matter if you're coming on or not, I'll just start doing that. Uh, yeah, uh, that KFC commercial she was making fun of. She says, maybe I should have gave her some KFC at the reunion since food, the only peace offering she accepts. Because, you know, <laughs> Candy has a reputation for holding grudges a very long time. Uh, and then she went after Kenya. Oh, talking about renting a man. And then at one point, Sheree was to- uh, trending. And then she put this. It's so much. It's so much. She said, showing up to the scene looking like the topic of discussion. I love, love, love Sheree. And then uh, overall, uh, Atlanta was trending last night. It was so good. It was like the old days. And then someone says, okay, so Marlo, what was that y'all was saying about Candy only sharing the good moments because she's had two very vulnerable moments in the first 20 minutes. And then, oh yeah, all of them were responding to fans. They will start responding to people, okay? Candy <laughs> says, right, so she's uh, responding to this fan. I'm always showing my life. I don't know what they talking about. It was so good. <laughs> uh, someone says, Marlo, you're doing a great job being a Monty. This was an example. You could say anything. And next week, I'm going to start tweeting to see if they respond to me. They, do, they won't respond to me, but maybe I'll go under her alias. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the red down for read down for Martel. Please spoof him. Somebody's asking Candy. And sometimes the audience can be messy. Now they want Candy to spoof Martel. And remember, that's what was upsetting. Was it Marlo and um, Sheree? Sheree. Sheree. And Candy says, hmm, you might be on to something. I feel a candy spoof coming. Child, this is messy. Okay, so so last night, Sheree made a comment about her and Todd being short. <laughs> and I said, Candy's never going to forgive her for that. Candy will get mad and will hold on to it. And she's going to say something about it three years from now. And, but she didn't write three years this time. She says, Martel uh, joking about Candy and Todd being short when he isn't that tall himself. Candy couldn't resist. She went on that night. <laughs> it was so good. Okay, let me read this really good. Sheree had her first child at 14. She got some nerve to judge Candy. This is going to be so good. The audience is going to go back and forth. She got some nerve to judge Candy's intimate life. Plus, she aged Shane Ken with KK Kim. <laughs> <laughs> when she was trying to have a kid. Y'all are messy. Oh my God, Francine, what did I do to deserve $50? I appreciate it. Praying y'all as well. V been missing you. Oh, love you, Queen. Oh, isn't that Thank nice? Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. I will deposit that into your account, okay? Uh, thank you. All right, so let's talk about last night's episode. Let's do it really quick because I want some major arguing going on up here. You know I like that. Yeah. You know I love it. It's so going last happen. night. It's going on. It's going down. It's going down. <laughs> and we got to start with Candy because she's the center of attention this, this season. Mm-hmm. And with these vulnerable moments is what she's talking about is how she showed a, a scene where her she's talking to her child on the phone. And mm-hmm. the child is like, mommy, come home. I haven't seen you. Mommy, come home. And she was like, well, um, is so-and-so there? You know, I can't come home now. I can't come home now. Then there's another scene where Todd is on the computer. He's supposed to be writing a movie. And she's like, I'm here now. Spend some time with me. And he couldn't. He could not step away from the laptop. And if you ask me, and this is going to be harsh, I have an opinion like everybody else. Mm-hmm. 
Todd complained a couple years ago about Candy being gone all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She has a very demanding schedule. I believe she says, I go to one drama, to the next drama, to the next drama, because these are high stressful jobs that she's doing. One of them, she just got off of that reality show where they were going back and forth with SWV. Mm -hmm. And she has to do these things to achieve her goals. She wants the EGOT. Right. But mm -hmm. the children and the husband are going to pay the price. If you ask me, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not wishing that on them because family's mm -hmm. first, but mm -hmm. she's doing too much. And he complained last season. And I feel like he feels like he doesn't give the, get the respect. People treat him like a bum and they're practically going around calling him. Mr. Burris. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because Candy's doing all the work, getting all the attention. And right. I feel he's tired of being Mr. Burris. She better watch who he's talking to on that laptop, working late hours, being intimate with. I think that this marriage is headed for some kind of crisis because you got to give your man and your family the time that they need. Now, mm -hmm. for me, I work a lot, but who's by my side? Mm -hmm. Harry, and, and then Harry. we make sure we take the weekends off. You guys always hear me for my children, mm -hmm. and they're grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's not. It's not looking good. What do y'all think? Well, listen, yeah. listen. You want to go first, period? I oh, no, I was gonna say, yeah, real quick. Look, in my opinion, no, it's not looking good because, like, even the hell with him sitting at the kitchen table on that thing, saying, "Look, I'm doing my thing. You've been doing yours." For the last yeah. 10 years, okay. And now this is what he's thinking. Even gonna tear you up. Be careful, Perry. Be careful. <laughs> you've, been, you've been doing yours, right? Mm -hmm. But now, you know, you always get to be this the, the eye of attention, right? Mm -hmm. Because because I, I'm gonna tell you something. At a certain point, it's he gonna start to feel like, hey, you don't want me to shine because you want all of it. You want the egot, you want all these things. But at a certain time, a husband wants his wife, our kids want their mother. Mm -hmm. right? Yep. So yep. And I think you can play around and have this ego because I think she don't got to the certain point, and I know she got a lot of supporters out there. <laughs> is that she's too full of herself? No, oh, let I'm me push. Let me push back. Let me push back on that, Perry, because Candy does have a lot of uh, supporters. You, when a man do it, nobody says nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. They may not say nothing. They may not say nothing, Sherelle. But is that kid still living his life without his father? Is that wife still not living a life without that husband? Yeah, he can do a lot. Mm -hmm. But how off, how far do those relationships going? Go. I'm just what, telling you, we were just talking about me and you just saying, in my opinion, that I think this could damage that relationship. Go ahead. Uh, well, go ahead. Okay. Well, I don't have nothing against Candy, but mm -hmm. I think that she'd have made some big major mistakes here. And like one what? of them is, one of them is you had a choice to have a family and children. Or go go further in your career. Mm -hmm. Now you gonna go further in your career and have family and children, but somebody gonna get neglected if you didn't choose one or the other. You, it seems like you chose to go further in your career. What's happening over here with the husband, the kids, and and all the people that need you at home? You know, she had a choice. She didn't have to have them kids. I mean, she had already had her older child who's grown and gone, but then then she decided to use somebody else's sperm to have another baby and then no. she's gonna have another child she used somebody's another... sperm it was well, what... it's todd you she just well, had a surrogate well, she fair. just had somebody, somebody carry else... the baby okay because that one girl else... looks just like her blaze okay well whatever some well, it wasn't her she didn't carry it Damn. okay so that's what i'm saying you decided that you wanted to have these children who did you think was going to be raising them and looking out for them while you are trying to do an egot Ooh. Now let's let like did y'all see Diva putting her hand over her heart? She's a huge candy fan. Sound off. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Todd know what he signed up for. He mm -hmm. met Candy on the set of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. This is true. He mm -hmm. knew that she was ambitious and all the things that she was going for. See, this is, you know what I hate to say. I'm almost ready to agree uh, with Mama Joyce. See, this is the nonsense Mama Joyce was trying to warn Candy about. See, Todd now, he wants to show up and stand up and start writing movies and all of this other stuff. You signed up to be my backup. 
You signed up to do daddy daycare. You signed up to watch me glow up, and that's what you signed up for. You know what you signed up for. So Ooh. don't be coming to me now talking about, oh, what about me? What about me? What about me? What about you? You know what you signed up for. And my thing is, why do we always want to shut down the female and say the female needs to do X, Y, Z? But if a man does it, it's all good. Nick Cannon out here doing the same thing. Nobody's shutting him down. Nobody's saying he's That's a heavy. this and that and whatever the case may be. She's mm -hmm. trying to make her money for the family. The reason why he's able to sit down at that table with a laptop is because of Candy's money. So that's the I'm paying for that you write in that movie on. You in our house that I'm paying for. And if I say, give me a minute and whatever the case may be, don't try to make me look bad. I don't mm -hmm. like the way Todd is moving right now because, you know, he's making Candy cry. You saw when she was talking to uh, Kenya and Moyetta, she was like, you know what? Todd's trying to make me seem like a bad person. Todd, this is your wife. And sometimes when you got two people in a relationship, somebody has to support somebody else's dream. Todd is not your time right now. Maybe your <laughs> moment will come later, okay? But right now, your time is to sit back, help me get this EGOT, because we can't both run the streets at the same time, because, yes, we do have two kids. So you be daddy daycare, okay? And you let me go ahead and run this thing because I'm already used to knowing how to run and make the money. All right. Diva, so, Diva. Okay, Diva, Diva, let me say this, Diva. 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 Yeah. Let me say this and, that, yeah. and you can go back on your little rant, okay? Okay. Because, hurry up. Like, we got a whole people to talk to. Four mistakes. You said, oh, well, Todd got to recognize that's his wife. No, that's his damn employer. Okay. <laughs> damn. And, 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 and we can state, oh, well, he knew what he was getting into. Yeah. We all know when we get hired by somebody, it's a job. But sometimes you get tired of the job. I'm only simply saying, mm -hmm. Candy, be, she'll be renting another man soon. Oh, and, 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 and let me gonna be out. And let me add this to it: the, the, those kids that she went and uh, gathered up and had the, supposed to be the parent to, they don't care what was who signed up for what. When they growing up without their, their mother in, around, uh, being a mother to them and the mother around and growing and raising themselves, mm -hmm. that's that's what's going to tell in the end. They don't care what he got, she got, he got, whatever <laughs> she's trying to get out there in the world to make herself beautiful and known. That that That's not helping them children that she got at home. Well, see, she got little Ace in the KFC commercial. She's trying to care. help everybody come up. The whole family, but y'all got to just wait in line and wait your turn. It was no. little look, look, uh, uh, together, and Todd, your turn will come, but don't be trying to turn on me, your wife. Freddie said, mm -hmm. "Candy can date Croy." That is so messy. <laughs> anyway, another thing that happened with uh, Candy storyline last night is this new girl, mm. uh, uh, Courtney, Courtney. Courtney. Pardon me. Uh, said that Candy had been asking around about her, and she confronted Candy at. The birthday the 40th party. Birthday party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fortieth birthday party. And the girl uh, and I, we know that's what she was hired to do. We know she's Team Sheree, but it just came off too strong. Like she was trying to pick a fight. Like we don't know what your house looked like yet. We ain't seen your husband. You just gonna come and go straight for candy. You making it obvious. Like, ain't you supposed to just pretend like you like her a couple episodes before you go after her? Came off very, very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, Buddha says, how many times does Ace have to cry before his Aww. mother pay, ooh, pay him attention? This is the third right. time. I right. bet that little girl calls the nanny. Oh, right. what is right. wrong with y'all today? That's my point. That's my point. You made my point for me. That's what I was saying. Them kids they coming first in Candy's life. Well, Candy's coming first in Candy's life. Yep. Mm. Now, Perry, is this person going after you? We all know Marvin. That's what we call him. A.K.A. Todd is here for the come up. He's never liked the country bumpkin. Candy. Oh, my God. Oh, well, no. what Marlo said. It was either Marlo or somebody said that in New York, Todd's name was Marvin. Talk that's right, that's right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And he had supposed to have been talking to some woman, right? A right. long time ago. Right. Child right. Uh he's never uh like country bumpkin candy. He's strategizing 
his exit plan. Y'all exactly. crazy. Perry, I normally agree with you. Todd should know the expectation of his employer. Y'all, okay, y'all. Oh, yeah, no, he knew it. <laughs> tell him, he, tell him to you. Okay, no, let me move on because y'all get tired of it. Let's move on to Sonia. Now, Sonia uh, has a lot of family members living with her. She's responsible for a lot of them. I'm going to try to rush through this because I want to bring, I, I am full. So a lot of people want to okay. talk. Uh, what really caught my attention is the way Sonia's sister talks to her. What does she call her? She a dimwit. <laughs> and she said, respect boundaries. In my I'm house? Not, See, exactly. Diva, diva. My husband works for you and I'm living with you. What's going on? I just didn't like that. Anybody want to add to that really quick? Yeah, I add to it. Look. As soon as she would open her damn mouth, I would have told you, you can take you and your sorry ass husband and get the hell out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids too. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all are messy. Um, who do we have next? Oh, they didn't even show Drew last night. Oh, and then Ralph shows up to the party, the birthday party, without Drew. They're mm -hmm. setting this, they're, they get ready to set us up for this mm -hmm. cheating storyline. I don't know if they taped it after the effect, because remember, Drew's storylines was taped after filming was complete. That way they could weave it in and you could tell. Uh, thank you, Francine. Another $50. Todd signed up to that, wanted the marriage and kissed to secure the bag. You know, kids. Uh, he is happy handling the bank funds. I, I don't know, Francine. Everybody got different uh, things. I'm trying to hurry up because when I, I didn't know we were going to get this yeah. many people in the chat. Um, Sonya is boring as hell. <laughs> so uh, anybody want to say anything on Sonya? I'll just say this. 100K for a birthday party? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so you got 99 people living in your house? 99! <laughs> Child, I said it wasn't 100K. 100K. That wasn't 100K, though. It was 40K. You know it was 40K. But no, 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 no. She, she said, said that was the no, original budget. Yeah. She said it was 100K. She's just trying to act like she's made it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, her house I mean, isn't I mean, even worthy. Okay. The local neighborhood center. That's all she did and decorated. That part. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's move on to uh, Kenya, who is obviously Team Candy this season. Um, I, She's definitely going to hook up with Candy. I don't believe this neutral mess. Someone told me that she's still talking to Marlo and Sheree. She might talk to them. Well, last night's episode was clearly Team uh, Candy, and they have a history together. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kenya can get as nasty as she wants. I just can't hate Kenya. I don't know why. Don't tear me up later. I like Kenya. Her daughter is beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, Brooklyn is just growing up of, right before our eyes. This uh, The new white guy, Roy, hopefully this works out for Kenya. I always want the best for Ken Kenya. And I can't help him feeling how I feel. I know people are going to say, she's this, she's that. I got a lot of super chats rolling in. Hold on. Ralph and the new girl say... Their cousins is hilarious, child. Who's them cousins? Uh, hi, Schmoopy. Please hit the like button. Thank you. Oh, Schmoopy. You guys, please hit the like button. Please get those likes up. I. It's very, very important to my video. Um, so uh, she's Team Candy, and that's a mess. Not well, only Candy needs the help. Huh? Candy needs the help. Now, well, yeah, because she's got these sharp tongued girls after her now. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to say one more thing about Kenya. Oh, she read, she read, uh, was it uh, Sheree or Marlo doing Watch What Happened Live? I have a clip. I don't think I'm going to play okay, the clip. Okay. Um, who was it? She was definitely Team Candy when she was on Watch What Happens Live. Mm -hmm. I would play the clip, but I don't have time for clips today, y'all. Y'all, I got to get to the call. <laughs> uh, also, uh, let's go over Marlo. It seems like Marlo really wants us to know that she's really trying with her. Now, I like Marlo. I'm not going to hide it. And you, I might give her excuses. And that's just because I like her. So if you drag me, I can't help how I feel. I feel like she wants us to know that. She made a mistake last season by putting the kids out. <laughs> she put the kids out. But she went and got them back. And I was here. <laughs> she put the kids out and now they're in therapy and everything seems to be going good, according to her. I will say this. It, of course, it's going to go good in front of cameras, uh, Marlo, even though I love you. But I will say this. What she's doing by taking on her sister who suffers from schizophrenia children is a hard position to be in. I know y'all gonna bring up the slicing. Oh, you're right. but, you're right. 
<laughs> it's hard. It's hard. And then uh, who's the last person? Uh, who am I missing? Oh, um, Drew didn't show up. No. I, don't, I don't think I seen her. No, we didn't. Who? Oh, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Drew did not show up. So I got Kenya, Marlo, oh, Sheree, and, and Martel. Okay, yeah. Now I love that. Sheree and I think she can read like no other. Like she she caught someone a carpet muncher a couple <laughs> years ago. She's just funny with the one-liners. I have to say I agree with the rumors. I don't think the Martel thing is real. Sorry, Sheree, I love you. I think it was a smart move. It kept you on the show. These women don't like Martel and they're going after him, but that relationship's not real. With that being said. Why were they going after Martel? What if it was real? Candy would not want anyone to go after Todd or Kenya wouldn't want anyone to go after Roy the way that they're going after Martel. Now, every time I say something good about Martel, I get hate mail. <laughs> and so bring it on. I'm just saying they're all, if, if it's fake, and maybe this is their thinking. You're not the only one going to have the storyline. I'm going to ride with it, too. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> that's right. It. Um, anybody want to say anything on Martell and... Um... Oh, you yeah, know, I was going to say, right. for, obviously, look, it's that they're just acting, right? Like all the photos they stage. You know, they both <laughs> got an agenda, right? She needed yeah. a storyline. She got him. Because mm -hmm. you notice, she'll rub his bald head, and he'll come in and all this. And But you notice when she uh, rub his head... And then they are like sort of hug. They just showed a bump. No. They never show no kiss and affection. But he did, you know, both of them just doing a skit. When the girl, like the cook come in, he supposedly got excited, thought he had a threesome coming. But she did say her, her she thought about doing it with her ex-husband or something, but he went and did it on his own. So I mean, oh, I'm starting Look, to learn. I will say this I too, knew. Perry. Uh, it's there's no chemistry there. And that's what you're trying to say. It's yeah, no right. chemistry. Mm -mm. Thank you, Bonji, for becoming a member. Oh, Bonji, I will be going members only right after this because I got a lot to talk about. Sonia reminds me of a Target greeter. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Zosiak divorcing. Mm -hmm. yep. We talked about that. Wow. And we, I, me and Diva think she's divorcing for a reason. What up, Dawn? Last night was the Real Housewives of Huntsville. Oh, it was. So it was a smart business move. You you just have to admit it. Hey, Naomi, becoming a member. Thank you. Um, so anyway, I think anybody has anything to say? Because we got, I, I've never been this backed up. No, bring no, the people on. Bring the people bring on. Bring them on. Y'all ready for the people? <laughs> uh, ready for, me, Freddie, start dialing Todd. now to see if you can get in. I feel sorry for Todd. So Sorrel, Sebastian, what up, Sebastian? Talk. Hey, we, we got the professional hey, one-liners today. Hey, what up, Smoke? Hey, hey, hey. Diva, hey, gird your edges, girl. Mm, what's good? What's good? Hey, hey everybody. Hey. Hey. Is it Sherelle. cheek? Sherelle, I'm going to make room for the people to come up and talk. So Thank you, V. Thank you for showing up and speaking your piece. It's nice seeing you. You don't have anything else to say? You spoke your piece? No, I'll come back uh, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. right. Thank you. Bye, 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 you. It's good to see Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. It's real good to see V. Mm -hmm. Um yes. I was shocked she wanted to come on. Sheik. Can you hear me, Sheik? This is Nina. Nina. <laughs> oh, oh Nina. I see that picture. You were that girl back in the day. <laughs> yes. Is that you, Nina? That's is Capricorn that you in the picture? Shit. That's me. That was that was when Ooh, I was young. Oh, Nina! Ooh. Oh, Hold on. Wait no, no, no. You gave it like that Pam girl, like black black spotation. Like I was like, oh, who that? <laughs> let me let Nina uh, speak first because she's usually at work. Sound off, Nina. What are right, your thoughts? Right. I, I'm not at work now, but I I, I do want to speak, and then that way you can drop me because you got a long line. It was good to see B. Uh, I know. First and foremost, yes. But I want to say that I have to give, and I don't, I don't know who might chop my throat down, but I have to give <laughs> Roy a nine. Yes, yes. Like, only because they gave us a hip clink, a hip, uh, what you call it, a hip clinger or whatever, whatever. Cliff at the end, cliffhanger. 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 Mm -hmm. cliffhanger. I had it backwards. Only because they gave us a cliffhanger, and I'm so ready to see uh, next week's season, uh, yes. show. It's good. But it's I good like the old days, isn't it? Yes, Let me say this really honey. quick. You guys, please click the like button. Please mm -hmm. click the like button, everyone in the chat. Go ahead, Nina. Yes, honey. And when I say, let me tell you something. It was all about candy. 
yeah, uh, yesterday, and I'm not a candy or a tart fan, but I you got to get candy uh her her dues. You know what Amen. I'm saying? You just you got to give her her dues. She, you know, I don't like hearing her son say that. You know, he's young, so any anybody wants to cling to their parent like that. I don't like hearing her son, you know, talk like that, and, and you know, is and, and somebody else being a part of. But you got to. It, 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 but you just got to understand Candy's ambition. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's so much bigger than what most people want to see. So, so with that for. being said, Nina, are you saying that Todd signed up for? He knew what he signed up for, and I, now he's trying. Go ahead. I ain't gonna say he knew what he signed up for. I'm gonna say Mama Joyce was right. Uh, Damn. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say Mama <laughs> Joyce was right, and I can I, I I hate Mama Joyce ain't on this this first show, honey. <laughs> So she could read, because she would read that dang on uh, husband of Candy for everything he's worth. But, and Candy, too, she'll read her own daughter. But I just say that I don't <laughs> believe all these films that he's got working in a plan, maybe they Lifetime stories or something. I don't believe it's a film like that. But, Candy, be careful. Because you at home and you begging your man. I heard you ask him twice before he got off and that woman said, do you want to go over this one more line? Mm -hmm. And I said, Candy, be careful with his head, with his, with his uh, baseball cap tapped around the back of his head and leaning like he did. He might, mm -hmm. he might be trying to hide some candy. You know, well, but, I mean, um, probably, but, but I don't, I mean, Nina, but you I said, don't know. You said huh? she was ambitious or would you call it selfish? Damn! No, I think it's, it's ambitious. Selfish. I think it's ambitious because she's always been that way ever since she hit okay, the floor. Right, okay, on, right, on right, right. So, are you always gonna take up for it, even even if being ambitious make you act like an asshole or no, not no. treat people right? No, no and I'm, I'm not saying, gonna you... always take up for it if her son continues to cry because I know Riley probably went through the same thing. She you said know, it. Remember, her, you know what I'm saying? And now these these babies did not actually become a part of the candy clinic uh coat right. uh clan so when she made that choice her and her husband to have these children somebody had to take the back seat so todd you in the back seat now todd know your place but he you tired of being in the back seat he tired well, of being he, he better he better earn his own coins and quit asking He's his wife to. to be his producer right. he asked her to be producer she said she don't have time to produce she got, know, I got a question stuff. for you i got one question i'll leave you alone do you okay. think todd could have been a uh, sex trafficker Oh my God! You is something what? weird. I, you know, <laughs> you know Please stop. Okay, I leave you alone. I leave you. I leave you alone, Nina. With them still having threesomes, I don't put nothing past their relationship. I just got it. But listen, let me ask anybody, you this, Nina. Okay. Can uh, what's their name? Sheree and Marlo. Are they? Do they have enough clout to kind of push Candy out? I don't think so. What do you no. think? Uh, uh, and her, 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 her. Uh, Famous words, who gonna check who boo? Candy uh -huh. gonna check y'all because y'all ain't got enough uh the, the be trying to come for her. Y'all ain't y'all right. two together can't put two dead batteries can't crank no car. Damn. Candy and, and and for and now Sheree. I like Sheree. Sheree got a bad body. You got to give it to her. She really but you does. gonna say you a Ferrari. You should have said you was a Lamborghini or a Porsche. <laughs> I mean, you should have said something better than that. Because Montez go for the, the low of the low. You know what I'm saying? Toyota, Honda's, Camrys, you know. I mean, I ain't saying nothing against nobody's cars. I'm just saying, you know, in, in retrospect. Call yourself, <laughs> give yourself a big name, honey. She, I mean, she know how to read. But, you know, you 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 don't want nobody coming for you. Sheree got a bad body. Did Mar yeah, was Montez yeah. here for her and her she body? Her. No, he was not. She not reached out and tried to touch him so many times, and I thought Sheree it ain't working, honey. I see it ain't working. You hey, know. Nina, it, Nina, I almost looked like he was more interested in the cook. Hey, he thought he was going to be a threesome. <laughs> he thought it was going to be a threesome, so he didn't know. He didn't know what he was in for. She said, "Now look," but she said, "I got a surprise." I didn't think it was going to be the, a cooking thing. I thought it was going to be something else to surprise the man. You know, let us see that y'all working. Y'all showed us that y'all ain't together, and it's okay. You got another season on Roar with that stunt. So we don't want to see no more Martell. Uh, Martell is in love with Melody, period. He, he is in love with Melody, and it's, honey, don't let me get started on that. He's obsessed with Melody. You you know, you, you did this to your family, and most women is going to see what you did to your family, and they ain't going to want to have nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. And the Kenya come to read. The the Kenya come to read. Kenya came to read. 
Because when she Queen. when she said when she said that her she didn't she didn't have no menstrual cycle again, I thought Kenya now you didn't have to say that about the about the girl. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> she might not. She, you know what I'm saying? She might not. Have, she might not have no more babies. She didn't say it like that, guys. She did not say it like that. She said it in a <laughs> respectful manner. Oh. <laughs> and it's nothing about Kenya that's respectful when it comes to reading people. Only thing was respectful mm. about her, I saw her lips and how she didn't have her lips done, her top, her top lip. Did anybody else see that? Oh, she, no. got feel- she got fillers in her lips. Go back and play. Kenya looks good. The lips is hitting on top of them teeth. Kenya is beautiful. <laughs> Yes, Kenya, you you look good. You, you you know you look. Kenya is a beautiful black woman. She really. I don't is. see her. Yeah. I don't see how the rumor mm-hmm. is going on this long. And I was a part of that rumor too that she paid pays for men to come. Like, what is it about you, Kenya, that you have to pay for somebody? She might have hit the lotto this time though. She might. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's time. keep our fingers crossed that everything works out with Roy. I ha- I looked. I'm not I'm acting like Kenya. Is, I it's l- not no Roy Sherelle is more. Uh, is that his name? The the, the Italian dude. He's Roy. It's R O I. I pronounced it. He's Roy. Israeli. He's Israeli. He's not he's Italian. Is... He's Israeli. Well, honey, they. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I don't know nationalities like that. I just know he's not black like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sebastian. I'm trying to get a lot of people. Were you done, Nina? You, yeah, you can drop me. I will talk to y'all later. I'm in the chat. Okay, Take thank care, you, Nina. Nina. Okay. Sebastian, sound off really quickly. This is Sebastian. Okay. I'm going to say this first. <laughs> I hear everyone, everyone knows I don't <laughs> like candy, but this season, I will respect her because Kenya is on her side. Okay. I will respect her. Um, I find it ironic, though, that she likes to complain about, um, she doesn't like when people talk about her man, but she should not be talking about other people's man either. It's just point blank, period. Second, Mama Joyce warned us all. But y'all were criticizing Mama Joyce. Y'all dragged Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce, poor Mama Joyce. She lost, Mama Joyce lost probably 30 pounds from that whole relationship. (laughs) We we can't do that. Are you trying to say she warned us about Todd? Yes, she did. She did. Mm. She did. I'm gonna have to say this. You know what? Um, though, the the way that relationship is going right now. For a second, though, did she really warn us about Todd, or she knew what her daughter was about? So oh was damn, Perry! She knew both. what her daughter was about. You're right. Both, both, I, both can. Two things can be true at once. Um, mm-hmm. Another thing is Sheree. Sheree, come on, Sheree. We we come on. No. As Kenya says, Sheree needs a show called Watch Me Date Dumb Dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. She said that on a uh, candy show. That's so funny. This, this, it's just crazy. It really is crazy. It really is. Um, I don't think she should be coming for Kenya on Twitter talking about she rents a man. Sheree, I, Sheree she does not rent men. Hey, you're even going off about Twitter? She went on Twitter yeah. and said that Sheree. I know, no, Sheree, but usually, I mean, you you even got mad at that. Yes, I did because I found it very offensive because I don't like when people come for Kenya and they have they don't have a good background themselves. And Sheree was a teen, she was a teen mother. She was a teen oh, mother. Sheree Sebastian, not, Sebastian, don't do, it. Don't do, it. Don't do 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 it, Sebastian. Sebastian you don't want that smoke. You don't want we that smoke. Are going, we are going. Take it back. We, Take we, it we, back we, now. We, forever hold your peace. Let the man fall off the cliff, smoke. Let okay. me say what I gotta say. <laughs> All right, this here's is America. Some this is America, and I can say what I want. Um, oh, dude. Sheree <laughs> has no right to be talking about relationships. <laughs> you were a teen mother, Sheree. Your your mm-hmm. child practically could be your little sister, him. so don't you dare come for Kenya the way you tried to come for her. <laughs> Second, hold on, you guys, everyone, go on mute so he could finish. Go ahead, Sebastian. Yeah, your child Sheree could practically be your little sister, so don't you <laughs> dare come for Kenya the way you tried coming for her on um Twitter. I'm not saying anything's wrong with t- teen mothers, but I'm just saying when you're a teen mother, there's certain jabs that you don't go to. You don't go for certain veins that you don't go picking in because that's really, what Sheree Sebastian. was trying to do. Yes, when you have skeletons in your own closet, don't try to go pick for others, don't try to search for others. There's certain things you got to know your place. Sheree, another thing is, I'm gonna have to say this, and y'all are gonna have to 
I see why Bob couldn't stay with you. I really couldn't. I I really see why. What? What? I, I don't I don't support him beating you though. I don't support him beating you, <laughs> but I see why he left you. I see why he, he I can't. Tammy or whatever. Sheree is a horrible individual. And Marlo, don't get me started on Marlo. Because the thing is, I, I, I lost all the love I had for Marlo once she went on national TV and said that her the, the little kids are not brushing their teeth nor washing their underarms. I lost all respect that I had for Marlo. I classify okay, Marlo. You guys could come off of you because we have to laugh. Something is so Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. Are you serious, Are you serious Sebastian? Are, Are you serious, Sebastian? We're going, Sebastian? We're going there. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this, Sebastian? Do you want to do this today? You sure? Okay. Okay, you guys go back on mute. Go back on mute. I had to go you. Okay, okay. Let me segue back. Cardi B's not getting Tasha Case money, Sheree. I'm um, Sherelle. She's not. Like it or not, y'all need to understand the laws, how it works in banking and stuff like that. Diva, did you US want to comment? You've got this look US, on your face. U.S. judgments don't have power overseas in terms of monetary value, especially if she has a bank account in a foreign country decides to convert said funds into another currency, decides to put it under another person's name, it's gone. Oh, it's that's gone. right. It's gone. That's right. It's gone. It's gone. If she went to Mali, or even if she went to Dubai, if she went to the UAE or anywhere else, that money's gone. Like it or not, it's gone. What right. y'all are not understanding is... Cardi has the money. She may want to try to drag this thing legally, but it's just gonna be end- it's gonna be endless. Tasha, I'm gonna tell you what Tasha probably did. Right when she was in that trial, when they did the first thing, she probably went to seek a financial advisor to tell her how yeah. to do everything, yeah. and yeah. that's exactly what she did. Exactly. There's certain things. That's the thing. Once you know the legal system, once you know how to manipulate your money, because look at we recently found out that Trump had bank accounts in like five other countries. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, Sebastian. Uh, 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 smoke. <laughs> Yes. Y'all, y'all, can come, y'all can come off, Thank off you. mute. For, Just in case for, we want to beat him up, though, we have to go back. Go ahead. We will, well, but here's the thing. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say this about Candy. I mean, it's not surprising. The woman barely wanted to compromise on co-headlining with a legendary R&B group that oh outsold her God. group. So why would we expect her to compromise with her own husband? And hey, let's be very now. clear about something. Todd was working in production, yes, and he had aspirations and he was doing shows. Can't be married knowing that about him. So why is it the fact that Daddy Daycare now wants his dreams to come true, but since Mama Candy or Sugar Mama Candy has all this going on, he has to take a back seat. So are we saying that when a man is the breadwinner and he's bringing in most of the money, that women should know their place and be at the house raising the kids and they should accept the position? Is that the case? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? But women do that. You very, you very correct, Smoke. When no, but, here, but oh, oh, can I stop you for a minute? Smoky. Sure. Are, did you really call Todd Daddy Daycare? Come he on. is. No. He was raising them kids in the nanny. Candy and raising them kids. She's just paying for the house and all the financial needs. She ain't Dang. really mothering. She's just she's just a a, a person who happens to ha- inhabit the ma- master suite of the house. Period. Why is everybody so disrespectful this, towards Todd? This, disrespectful because towards he looked like Candy a though too. This is right. Denzel. Don't, Denzel, you know I love you. Don't let smoke have you drinking the juice, okay? The what juice? I love, I love you too, Diva. But I, 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 I agree. I agree with him. Diva, not everybody still, can agree still, with Candy. I still but love you. I right. still love you, Diva. I'm not trying to be funny, but I follow her social media. Don't let this. I'm not saying she's the best mother and she don't be out here traveling and doing what she do, but y'all got to really follow her and see. She had those kids more than y'all think. I'm not saying she's the best mother. Let me but her kids still says she's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that's still y'all to not no, no, no. no. But that's true. That's why I said I'm not saying she's the best mother. But what I'm saying is you also got to think kids will say that my mom would be gone for me for eight hours and I'd be like, mommy, come home. No, but this saying? this has been over oh, years and seasons on real. Years. This has been on no, years and seasons of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Riley has said it. You don't need no more kids. Right. Ace is now he saying did. you work too did. much. Blaze right. is calling the nanny mommy. So those are three right. of your children saying you are not around and you do not need any more kids. When is she going to take the hint? Blaze is not calling the nanny mommy. Come on. All right, everybody, hold on. Everybody, yeah, hold talking. on. Let the yeah. new guy sound off. Braylon, he was raising his hand very politely. Can you respond to smoke, Braylon? Oh, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, the tea is hot today. Y'all making me laugh, and I'm here for it. Listen, at the end of the day, I love Diva. I really do. I think at the end of the day, you are right. You do sign up to be backup, but there is the representative, and then there's the actual person, right? But in the same token, you do deserve to have your own identity. Yes. Now, and now, now, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm with you because everybody that comes for candy, if you had her schedule and you had her bag, would you be on YouTube? I'm just waiting for a response. Ooh, Nothing yeah. for nobody. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? What, 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 what do you mean? Let I'm saying if you had her, okay, 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 go, okay, go okay, ahead. Uh-huh. If I sure. had her money and I had her bag, I'd probably be at home if I was a woman, being a great wife and a great oh mother. My. Right? Come on now, Perry. You know what? No, touche. Touche. Don't give it that right. Don't give it now. Yeah, give it quick. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on one second. Because I said, because I. Let him talk, let him talk, let him talk. Hang on. Everybody, let him talk. Go ahead. Perry, I have nothing but love for you. I see your point. Yeah. However, each age requires different levels, right? right? So, if you were done with everything, you had that bag and that schedule, you would be good. But in the same token, a woman should be able to live a full life just like a man should be able to live a full life. Well, and like I said, I I'm, not, I'm, 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 not, I'm not at that I, level, right? I'm only 28, barely I, making it myself, but I'm still here. I would agree. People get mad when I say a relationship is 50-50. No, they both should have equal rights and both should be able to live their life. Right. Absolutely. But do you feel like sometime how this is going, that like she got tied, uh, taped up in the trunk? Wait, Cheryl, can I respond to that as well? Yeah. Let's, 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 let's let Smoke respond. Can, uh, can I also, <laughs> All right. I also find it interesting that when Todd is doing a project, <laughs> that's for, that's for, that's oh, no, for everyone the, go on mute. Everyone go on mute. Go ahead. I got I you. Also I, got find you. It, I also find it funny that when Todd is doing a project or anything that's to uplift Candy and her profile, oh, she's guns in. She is showing up. She's at dinner time at six thirty, and she's probably in that bedroom waiting for that third person for sex at night with Todd. So let's yeah, keep it real. Right. When it's all about Candy. It's all good. But the one moment that Todd wants to stick out and be like, hey, I want to do this thing. This is something I have an aspiration for. It's like, oh, family time, family time. I find it very interesting right. to talk about family time where you're on tour with three escape, missing one member. You're doing all these different shows. And still your kids miss them. And you can talk about the kids being on her social media, but guess who's raising them in the background? Todd is in that nanny, not Candy. Right. So you, you can put your kids know. all on your IG all you want. Doesn't mean you're raising them. Smoke, you ain't doing oh, nothing but the truth. You ain't doing nothing but the truth. Okay, everybody calm down. Let's let uh, Braylon respond. Let Braylon. Go ahead, Braylon. No, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, listen, and it really, I am 28, barely making it, but I'm still alive, though. But I think at the end of the day, I think it's just the lifestyle, right? We only know what these people give us, right? right. So I think at the end of the day, they've been married nine years. They are making it, but they don't have to sit down and figure out that. You know what I mean? I'm only at, from the outside looking in, so that's it. All right, let me move on. Let me oh, go just ahead, say uh, this real quick, okay? We, we see what we see. <laughs> and Smoke, I know you've been watching a long time. So do you remember Todd had a trucking business he tried to start? Mm -hmm. Candy has backed up with her funds 
all of his little ventures that he wanted to start. And trucks was in her yard, no trucking business, okay? She doing the restaurants, and then he went to the restaurant and couldn't light the fire on the restaurant. She mm -hmm. had racked up so many things that was everything tied. So she's tired right now. No. Up he's tired too. Diva, Diva. Don't slot off Diva, Diva, off. those businesses yeah, blazed in that yeah. restaurant was for uh, her. Uh, was for her, uh, not for uh, him, no, for right. her. He it was for to, her. And, and I ain't seen that right. a damn one restaurant that had Todd damn name on it. It's all candy. It's okay. all candy in her right. family. You can, you can say she's tired. Fair, you had to deal with being all this told. And Buzz, you can point out, you you can point out his still uh, business adventures. I'm sure our, our, Candy have had some that didn't make it neither. We just don't hear about it because she got too many followers like Diva. All of her, <laughs> all of her spin off shows on Bravo didn't make it past season one. Yeah. Okay. Every, everyone pipe down. Let me let Buzz talk. Go ahead, Buzz. Can you okay. keep it short? Can you keep it short? Yes, I'll keep it short. Thanks for telling me. Okay, really quickly. Um, last night was crazy. It goes back to what I was telling you, Sherelle. Candy needs to go because Candy needs to go where? Candy needs to go off this show. Oh, I didn't expect you to say that. Go ahead. She has to go because it goes back to that <laughs> conversation we had last time. She's yeah. on her way to being an e guy. Even if she doesn't get the Tony and the Emmy, I have a feeling she's going to get at least one. That's going to put her one step closer. She's mm -hmm. getting into another conversation. And actually, even if she doesn't win either, she's a nominated, a Tony nominated producer. She, her name is a different conversation, and they want her to fight. It's not that Sheree and Marlo has so much power, like she has to talk to Andy and get people off, get, you know, get people off, but they have the ability to kind of get up under her skin. Like everybody says, Marla get up under her skin more than Nene. And they want to get her to fight. Everybody knows how Candy is. That's why people be like, oh, she cries, she cries, she cries because she can't lash out. So they're trying to get her to fight so they can get her off the show and make her look bad. And I think that's what it is. So no, they don't have the power. As far as candy power, but they get the power to make her react until they have no choice but to make some decision. Okay, with let, let me read candy. this really quick. Oh, okay. hold on, Perry. I have a cousin very close with Candy, and she is beefing with me now. Candy's beefing with you, Toria. Is this our Toria? Because I don't have to see the regular picture. That's Latoria. Um, mm -hmm. Latoria. Latoria. Is that uh, our Toria? <laughs> anyway. Uh, beefing with me now for the things I be saying. Y'all will be surprised who people know, kin to and all. I wonder if that's Artoria. Uh, were it's you not. done, Buzz? Yeah, because yeah. I'm also, um, I have to go back to work, so I am going to drop off in a minute so you can let somebody else in. Okay. Also, it go. I also want to talk about this whole thing with her and her kids. She does need to get it together. I understand. Damn. I'm not mad at her because if this was a man, everybody would be like, oh, you know, he's trying yeah, to build damn, generational dude. wealth, and there's, you know, he's out there doing the thing. He's the provider. No one would have said anything, but because it's her, it's like, oh, she needs to be at home. So I'm not mad at that, but when it affects the kids, Man or female, male or female, they need to really reevaluate their life. So yeah, yeah. Buzz, I get all that. I get all that, and that's oh, very God, nice, Karen. and that's very sweet. But I'm just saying <laughs> this: a person that's chasing an egot that's gonna make them an email mother, is it worth it? It's not right. An email, <laughs> email mom. An email mom. He's that's email. basically what you do. I mean, because like the father look, too. If the father people had to have I would say rationale in too. life, you know. If the father did that too, I would say the same thing. So if this was Todd, if we were watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and it was her husband doing this, I would say the same thing about Todd. So it's not even about it being candy and her being a female. I feel as though anybody can be ambitious, but when ambition is really affecting the family and the kids, you have to right. be about it. That's all. all right. Thank, thank Perry you. Perry froze. Terry Fro, good. Let me move on. Dang, Sherelle. <laughs> Damn. Diva, if I freeze, if I freeze, okay. Take over. okay. That was shame. I, 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 I got you freeze. Sherelle, really quickly, y'all hit that like button. Sorry, it's over I, I, I in the not... building. We need to get those lights up to over a thousand. Come on, everybody. Hit that like button. <laughs> yes, hit that like button. Like button. Hit that like button. Okay, let's move on oh, to the new guy. Sorry. Uh, I just want to ask reason. something before you. I know it's not my turn yet, but are you were you were you really serious when you said that Blaze calls the nanny mommy? 
You yeah, know that was a joke. joke or was just joking? No, I was serious. I was oh, serious yeah. when I said that. I believe. Come them. on, I- y'all. Let me let me move through quickly because I got a lot of people. Uh, sound off, new guy. Is it Deontay or Dante? Dante. What's Hi, up? Dante. Sound off. How you doing? Second show this year. I'm I'm I'm, I'm winning right now. Listen, I'm gonna <laughs> run through these notes quickly because I had to take. Oh, he got <laughs> notes. Okay, very quickly, Listen, run through, run through. Ain't surprised about Kim and Croy. That I honestly saw that coming. Mm. Kenya, no complaint. Ralph is the worst husband ever because he should have been by Drew's side if she had a family emergency, so he needed to go. Uh, Marlo is fake because she had a whole year to have that counseling session. She waited till the cameras were back on just to have that counseling, so she needed to go somewhere. Y'all Very damn. disingenuous. Okay. okay, go ahead. Sanya, Sanya and her forehead and her sister with that ill-fitted wig and Eva Marshall's <gasps> words I need to go. I don't know how her sister got a confessional. Like, I don't know how about that. Like, they just like, passing it out like it's Oprah. You get a confessional. You get a confessional. What? Courtney need to go. I don't know who this chick I is. I have to stop go. you. Was it an accident when you said Sonya and her forehead? No. No. Mm-mm. Did you see what they no. put her in in the confessional? They did her I, dirty. I, I can't. They did well, her go dirty. ahead. Sure, you know they were in a hoodie helmet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, go ahead, Dante. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Listen, licorice... I always said liquors need to go. I meant uh, boring bird. I mean, candy birds should oh, go. God. I always said that. Did you I call her licorice? Yeah. So this season, I, I listen, I'm going to be honest. This season actually makes me want her to stay because I feel like before she's always just hanging in there and says just a bit to stay on. But now we're actually seeing real things going on, like a crack in the marriage because you never really Dante, seen, can like, I stop you? You know what I'm saying? Can I stop you? What 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 does licorice have to do with candy? <laughs> because it's, it's candy. Because <laughs> why? Bittersweet. Because it's candy and it's bittersweet. Damn, I can't. I can't. Because she's real bitter this season. <laughs> but I, I always Lord. Said she had to go. But now we actually get to see like actual things going on in her life. And uh, someone said earlier that uh, if it was Todd doing that, no one would say nothing. I gotta actually disagree because we forget how in the beginning Todd always had to prove himself. And now it seems like he, because even last season, they were still dogging him. So now he's trying to get to a point where he's trying to prove himself. And then they're like, no. But I do agree he did have ventures that didn't last. And I feel, you know, put money to that. It's a waste of money. That's not cool, especially on hers. But, you know, they both got dreams to do. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go with everybody in the comment session keep saying, if y'all think she's going to EGOT, you're delusional. Because I don't see her on the shy. Oh. I don't see her on the BET show. She can't act. And that's a part. What? Got, like, a part oh of the EGOT is acting. Oh, my God. God. Okay, look, 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 new guy. I got to call you new guy. New guy, new guy. <laughs> I understand if you might not like candy, but you just can't I like say this. She can't act. Oh, Are you like sure? It. Wow. <laughs> man. He came through today. Good God, man. man. Yeah, I mean, he ain't playing. Montel, they both need to go. Because that was just pathetic. He's just trying to get clout from Sheree. Come on, let's be honest. That man got to go. <laughs> and he was hitting on the uh, the cook, by the way. All right. Yes, is, he was. is that it, new guy? Yeah, that, that's all. I new guy, I will say this: I've never had a new guy come on. That's that's gonna be your nickname now. That's uh, my nickname. Wasn't, sh- wasn't afraid to talk. You jumped right in and gave your opinion. Damn. Oh, it's I, 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 by Perry. I, I'll give you credit. You did. You did you let's today. Give wasn't guy, playing. A, let's give a clap of hand, a round of applause for new guy. Listen, you hey, did your thing today. Uh-huh. You did your <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> All right, uh, sound off really quickly. Uh, Man, huh? You said me? Yeah, really quickly, you guys. That that was a that I, I like. That. I'm sorry. That it's I like that. New, I wish I had a new guy award because he is the best new guy ever. <laughs> yeah, he deserved that. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Denzel. Sound off really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna make it very quick. Um, because sometimes I could be I could be long winded. Um, I like um. Uh, Diva, I love you, but I, I I love Candy. I respect your opinion, Diva, but um I think uh, I not think Candy she needs to um she needs to be there more with her kids and her husband. You know, even even uh even um even uh what is her name? Um, Kenya. Even even Kenya said that. Okay, well, no, let me stop you, Denzel. You can't play nice guy anymore. You're coming. What do you me. mean? 
you're you're coming no, for no, my no, little no. sweet diva. No. <laughs> no, I, like I said, I love I love Diva and I respect her opinion. You know, it's just I and I love Candy, I do, but I do agree with some people that um Candy need to be with her children a little bit more. And like Kenya said, she needs to be with her husband a little bit more too. And um and then uh Sheree, she can't be talking because it, it ain't she renting a man? They not really uh together. It's a fake storyline. It's a fake storyline. So I don't she think tried she's it. Running them though. I mean, yeah, borrowing. Yes, she is. That's rent. She's renting. She's renting. Okay. So she can't. She can't. She can't talk about Kenya. And oh, oh. um, I'm I'm happy for um Kenya. Kenya. All right. You said uh, something. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Were you done? No. Can I um <clears throat> can I say one more um one more uh thing. Uh, Kim and uh, Corey, they can go on somewhere, and she needs to probably go back to Bit Papa. Okay, <laughs> that's it. What they is happening in my chat? All right, you guys, listen. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, new guy, are you gonna call back in right now or in, in the future? Tomorrow, tomorrow, the next, the next time we do it. You're because we uh, have to give you an award. Everyone in the chat is saying we love new guy. Yeah. Yep, everybody. <laughs> so let me let me. Uh, I gotta make room for Perry. Perry's trying to get back in. I guess he got kicked out. But we okay. thank you so much, new guy, for coming on. Thank you, Braylon. I appreciate you guys calling. No problem. This no problem. Fun. Listen. Take care, guys. It's a new guy. New too. guy. When you come yes, back the next time we recap Roa. Uh, make sure you have show some respect for Candy, okay? <laughs> Don't let her scare you, new guy. guy. I like. I told you, I like <laughs> this. Diva, I did. Diva, did you, did you just threaten new guy? Yes, yeah, Sherelle, just really like Candy. Did. She bull she bullying people to like Candy. She bullying people to like guy? Candy. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm afraid to talk about Teresa on tomorrow's episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Listen. Carrie's trying to get in like crazy. Let me start dropping you. Thank you, New Guy. You were the best. Again, yes, round indeed. of applause for New Guy. Yes, indeed. Congratulations. Bye. Yes, Thank indeed. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Man. We are crazy. <laughs> Let me see. Perry, come call Do now. You want, me, you want me to leave, Sherelle? I was about to say, you want me to drop down? Hold on. Let me see if he can get through. Yeah, can I drop you guys? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine, Sherelle. All good. Thank you, guys. Braylon, you got to come back. Denzel. You, this is no, home, so no, okay. no, it's all okay. good. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I did what I did with Perry because that was my take. But I, I give respect where respect is due. Anybody who can come up here and give their take is not easy. So much respect to everybody. So all good. Thank you guys. I appreciate all right. you. Love you, Diva and Sharon Perry. I talk to you late, later. Okay, thank all right, you. See you bye guys. Bye bye. I don't know why, why is we have so many people today. Perry can't even get in. Really? <laughs> okay, Perry, try it again. <laughs> Uh, True, can you sound off while Perry's coming on? There we go. Yes, hi everyone. Can you hear me clearly? I can. Go ahead. Hey. All right, so I am so sorry new guy dropped down because he was the only one on here that has my same opinion about Candy because Diva is obviously the second employee to Todd for Candy. Oh. <laughs> and, and on top of that, they bought the yeah. same heist too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Perry, for coming back. Thank you, Perry, for coming back to have my back about candy. So I'm gonna we got your back, Drew. Oh, thank you. That's Sebastian? Who's that? No, that's Smoke. No, that's I got candy. you. Oh, thank you, Smoke. Thank you, Smoke. I'm going to say first, Sheree needs to stop lying about Bob wanting a threesome. Bob only saw in three. That's only three he saw because it was three of them because he's seen double. Moving on to Kenya, okay? <laughs> Moving on to Kenya. <laughs> Kenya is making a fake storyline with as much as I can stand Martel. Martel no, no, true. Stop, 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 stop. True, stop, stop, stop. You have we have not seen the Kenya's new man, and you're already calling it a fake storyline. How could you make a decision that quickly? Because I just don't believe anything Kenya puts out there. I'm sorry. I, Hold I on a second, Sebastian. Please calm down. Calm down. 
Sebastian, please calm down. Please calm it's down. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm drinking some water. I'm drinking some water. Yeah, yeah, drink some water. Go, go ahead. Finish okay. true. Go ahead. And tell I see some pictures of Kenya out with this guy kissing, hugging, something. It's a fake relationship because that's all she's ever given us. Just like a booty. Next. Oh. Candy. Candy needs to watch out because Todd is just setting up Candy to take those kids when they divorce. Because Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Never... Hold on, hold on, True. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> Todd wants to divorce Candy and he's plotting to do it? Let me tell you something. Todd, Todd is putting out there that how he always has the kids. That's why he is daddy daycare. He always has the kids. He, you see him on all those videos, dropping them to school, doing all that stuff. She needs to be careful of Todd. I don't trust Todd as far as I can throw him. And you know that he's only two feet. So that's as far as I can throw him, okay? So she needs to be careful because Todd is setting her up. He's always putting out there and having the kids put out there that she's not there, she's not available, and all this stuff. And with the divorce going on like everywhere now, I don't know, that's something in the water. I don't know what's going on with these people. She needs to be careful. Now, here's this, this is what I'm going to say. I think that was an unequally yoked relationship to begin with. She married a bus driver, that's what you get, okay? When you marry a bus driver and you're a millionaire, this is what you get. So Kenny needs to lay in the bed, her and all the other people that join oh, her. Oh, oh, her true, husband. true, stop, 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 stop. You're saying that Whoa. Todd was a bus driver? No, I'm saying he's beneath Kenny. He was always beneath her level. That's what yeah. happens when you marry unequally old people. So she can't get mad, start throwing his tantrums and all this stuff. And let me tell you, I, 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 I firmly, uh, firmly believe the men, women can do it all. We all know that. Independent, we got it going on, we can do it all. But I believe he should be the one out there providing and doing all this stuff, and she should be the one home for a time, taking care of the kids at their young age, doing what she needs to do the kids, making sure they're good, their homework and all that, let Todd go out there and do what he has to work and provide and do all of that. But Candy wants to be the man. That's, the, you. that's what you Thank get. You. That's and it. Candy, wants Candy to be would the man not let Todd him. Is the woman. Candy exactly. let She's him. not letting him lead. She's not letting him lead. She wants to be the man. So this is what you get when you make this bed. You and the five sums and the three sums, you all lay in the bed. <sighs> Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I mean, I, I, I mean, can you imagine they having a threesome and then about 30 minutes in, then she sent him to the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, exactly. no man so, can't so go get like me that. some coffee. Exactly. Okay, so Todd is gonna get what Todd wants to get out of this relationship. I don't see it lasting, and I think Todd is setting this up. He's he's not as dumb as people think. He's setting this up. Okay, he's setting this up in a way when they get divorced, he gets child support, he gets alimony because he has the kids more than Candy. Candy chases the bag too much. There's nothing wrong with being ambitious, but not at the price of your family and kids. And Damn. families are being Damn. destroyed right now. <laughs> families are being destroyed now. Okay, okay, uh, uh, true, 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 true. Hold on, true. Are you are you being a little hard on Candy? No. I don't respect Candy, and here's why. Yes. I don't respect marriage. I've been married almost 30 years. I respect the sanctity of marriage. We stood before God with our marriage. Candy does not respect marriage. And the reason why I say she don't respect marriage, because if you want to bring three, four, six sums in your bedroom, that's on you. Do it behind closed doors. Keep that private. But okay, okay, okay. True, true. Let me move on. Because you're really Amen. upsetting some people. But it's okay. It's okay if she upset them. But Sex like them. I said, when I was picked out, we this had the favorite truth. caller. The new guy was the favorite caller. We got a new favorite caller. It's the truth. <laughs> yes. The truth. She's telling the truth you about bowling ball bears. She, she said the truth that Candy has ball six of them. All right, let me go. Bears. I got to go through this really quickly. Sound off, uh, Asa, too, really quickly. Hi, everybody. I hope you are fine. You made me laugh all night. <laughs> Crazy. So, to, yes, you are, very, you are very funny, especially all the smoke. You are so funny. <laughs> so, to sum up we quickly. We lost smoke. Uh, oh, he lost me already. He lost me too. He lost me too. So, 
what I'm about to to say. So let's start with the one who has the least to to say in this in this episode, Sonia. I think that Sonia should set boundaries with her sister and have her move out because it's one oh. thing to, to yes, it's it's one thing. Did you just to, say Sonia should put out her sister? Yes, because she's disrespectful. How do you call your sister a in your back when you live in your house? Are you kidding okay. me? Okay. That's disrespectful. It's one thing to 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 live with your sister. Things happen, and you know it's not that rare in in the country I'm originally from to to live with multiple generations. But you have to have some respect for your people, especially for the one who is playing the mortgage. Damn. Go ahead. Exactly. Right. Yeah, and, and if your husband works for her, you have nothing to say about the job. You be quiet and take care of the kids or somewhere else. That's right. Either shut up or get a job yourself. Do one or the other. Exactly. Man. Get another job and take a, a duplex or anything. Move. She's now right. about Drew. Yeah, she 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 has some nerve. I don't know if it's if it's her bigger sister. That's why she feels she can she can talk to her anyway. But she she better watch out. Because one day, Sanya will snap and you will kick you out and your two children. Watch out. Damn! This is getting <laughs> bad. Okay. All right. Sorry. I have time to <laughs> think, Jared. I have time to think. I'll always wait and leave my vitriol here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Emmanuel, sound off really quickly. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, to finish with the rest of the really quickly. Okay. okay. Go really so quickly. Kenya, really quickly. That... Go ahead. Yes. I hope that Kenya does well with her new love interest, that she divorces uh -huh. quickly from her because it has been three years. And at this point, they have, going, they have been going through the divorce more times than they have been married. That's crazy to me. Uh, Candy, I like Candy. I respect her herself, but she, has, she needs to, to, to slow down a bit and take care of her kids more. Like, Ace, anytime she, she's doing a season, Ace is crying because she's not with her. I get that you 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 want to product, provide for your family, etc. But sometimes you you can slow down and and see your kids. It's not a problem. As for Todd, well, like uh, Greyhead said, she already helped him a lot. So, and a lot of time it had felt. So I can understand why Candy doesn't want to get involved more. Um, about Marlo, well, I will say one positive thing. I I like the fact that she seems to be in a better place with her nephews. I see that she's not trying to embarrass them on TV by talking about the hygiene and etc. So that's a good thing. Uh, Ralph is an asshole. He's a bitch. How, how can you... Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, keep I'm, going. Keep going. We, we got to do it real quickly. Keep going. Yeah, I'm, I'm not supposed to care. So he, how, how can you go to a, a men's party you knew from yesterday when your wife is going through a family crisis? You are a dog and nobody is buying your book. Okay. Uh, now let's go to... Nobody's buying his book. Who is taking advice from him? Nobody but a fool. Bref. All right. And, all right. Let uh, me move on. Yes. Azatou, and, and you're, 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 Azatou, you got to hurry. You have to hurry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. So, Shere is not a Ferrari. She's a Clio 2. You can Google it. It's really old and ugly, just like her. Uh, she's <sighs> jealous of Candy, obviously. She, she has a lot of nerve to talk about age shaming, what she was age shaming Kenya when she was trying to conceive. And she talks about candy sexuality. Excuse me, you have your kid at 14. Be quiet, my friend. Be quiet. And Damn. Go oh, my God, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, I got to move on. I got to move on. And the relationship with Martel is fake as fuck. And Kenya has the right to call it out because she's full of it. And for uh, just... Tasha Kibi Kebe, about just Tasha Kebe and Cardi, I don't think that she will get away with it. Cardi will take her YouTube money and Kiki Kim. I hope she never comes back to Real Housewives. I won't watch the episode when she's on it and fuck her and Troy. I'm done. Damn. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Are Emmanuel, you please tell you? her. She has that accent and she's just dragging people for filth. Is she and French? No. Is she Is French? It? She's friend from France. I'm friends. Yeah. Yes, I'm friends. We, we, we. Emmanuel, sound off really quickly. Hey, guys. Hey. So, last night proved that Sheree is slowly becoming the queen of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, Bullshit.com. She, she let them girls and the world know that she is the only OG standing, that shade was everything, 
those reads were everything. They were. The majority of the episode was focused on Sheree, as it should. People should, you know, start to respect her because she deserves that respect. Kenya is washed up. She's tired. She's a toxic trick. Um, I mean, she was trying it. Trying no, no, to Emmanuel. Off. You know, you know what you're doing. You know you're gonna piss off Sebastian. You know. Well, he he. It's, that's fine. But she tried to make it sound like Martel was trying to like you know, like you know, do something. But well, he admitted out, it on Dish Nation. He admitted that on Dish Nation. No, just what I went, thought that Sebastian wasn't gonna respond. Here he comes through. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Kenya is the last one of, of these ladies to talk about dating dumb guys. Like, let's not even get started on that. But Ooh. let's move on. Drew, I like Drew, but I kind of felt bad that I didn't even notice she was missing on the episode <laughs> until it ended. I'm like, wait, she didn't show up, did she? So I felt bad. But um, let's talk about Candy and Todd. I don't like Candy. Many reasons y'all already know. But I did not like the way that Leprechaun golden ticket seeker Todd was talking to her at home. He is an opportunist. He got his meal ticket with Candy. He got the golden ticket to, you know, get out of the sidelines and, you know, have the life. And I feel bad because Candy, I feel like she doesn't know what it's like to have a husband. So I don't like Todd. I don't like that. <laughs> Hold on, Emmanuel. Can somebody on the panel say something nice about Todd so we get, are giving both sides? Oh, I'll say something nice about Todd. Yes, thank you. Um, You know, he's very good at climbing. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 for real. Okay. Look, look, Go ahead, look, Emmanuel. Look, look. Go ahead, Emmanuel. No, 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 no. no. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. I mean, no, let's keep it real. Though. Something Sometimes. nicer. I can say something nicer. Because he, people act like uh, Todd was a real bus driver. He was a producer. He was making six-figure salary. He wasn't Here, broke. He was, he was never broke. Candy was making seven <laughs> figures. Candy was making seven. Yes, That's what but, but, said. But, but, she but, went to a thousand but there. But not broke. Yeah, but, but what you had to figure broke. out, though, was, that was her choice. He won't be fooled. That, that was her choice. She divorced that him. was her choice. All right, all right. I cut off Emmanuel. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Go ahead. Yeah. So I, I really I do appreciate Mama Joyce now in hindsight trying to protect Candy because I mean yeah and I also one 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 more other thing I don't like Candy because of her personality but I don't think it's fair for some of y'all were saying that it's bad that she's been working not taking care of her kids you can't really have it all either she's going to be working to give them a good life. Or she's gonna spend time with them and maybe not have enough money. Right. So it's you can't never really win. How much money like do you need? The thing Emmanuel, that can you have them both? Can you have kids, them both? Can they you are have going them both? to eventually in the future be grateful that she was doing all that she's doing for them. So but, no, 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 no. Emmanuel, how much money does she need to raise the kids? She already is estimated right. to be worth thirty something million. Exactly. How much money do you need to raise two kids? It's you important got, to build it. um wealth, like foundation, like you know, like. Generation how wealth, much how much family. money do you need to build financial wealth and take care yeah, of your yeah. kids? What is the number? Whatever you can get, whatever you can get, like whatever. Right. I'm looking like y'all gotta give Emmanuel his time. Give Emmanuel no, no, no. his time. Emmanuel had enough damn time. If Emmanuel you guys, come, come on, let him talk. Let him talk. I gotta, I gotta keep going. You guys get everyone. Go on mute. Go on mute. Go on mute. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Okay. Don't let them bully you. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Here is the last point i want to point out okay so y'all remember when portia williams was on the show right mm -hmm. so everybody made a big deal of she needs anger management kenya was like afraid to go to, with her to a vacation because she need anger management why ain't nobody telling candy to go to anger management because this is not the first time that someone has said one little thing and candy pops off do you guys remember you know, one time Ooh. Cynthia's sister was trying to break her up and Candy was like, I will drag you in this bitch. Like she mm -hmm. goes from mm -hmm. zero to a hundred. Sherelle, if someone came up to you and said, hey, Sherelle, um, do, do, you, do you know me? She do I know her. you? Are you going to say, I'm going to headbutt you, bitch? I'm like, no, she needs Emmanuel, to calm down. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I, Emmanuel you and your business history right now, Mar Marlo's sister, I'm not Marlo's, um, Cynthia's sister, Pushed Candy, which is why she, she popped all. Yeah, no, she, she was her. not. She pushed her. Well, the point. All, is all right, let me move on. Were you, were you done, Emmanuel? Right. 
Yeah, that's all. She needs anger management. That's all. Damn. She needs to put hands on anyone. Portia. No, of course not. All right. Uh, opinion. Yes, many off. times. Even a daughter's grandmother. She's crazy. Go ahead, opinion. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you need to give Sanya a flag, okay, and let her ass run right on back to Jamaica, okay? Because she ain't Damn. doing it. Okay, I, I'm sorry. She just ain't doing it for me. Her and her family just look like a whole bunch of uh, kebab lady shit. Um, <laughs> I'm so tired, man. Family. Let me tell you something. If if anybody didn't think this, if, if anybody didn't think this relationship was fake, when they watched this episode last night, it read fake all over the TV screen. Okay, like they was the, the way they was touching each other. It felt like they was uncomfortable touching each other, and I'm like. Man, if you're talking about how you're doing you in bed, you shouldn't be that damn uncomfortable touching him. Yeah, it's fake as hell, okay? Um, yeah, this is some Carlos King came come to us with bullshit. I ain't buying it. Let me tell you something. Okay, everybody being hard on Candy, but let me tell you something. Candy gonna be one of the ones that you're not gonna see on the TV screen on 1.1 million to the hour. <laughs> I'm being divorced because she can't afford to keep her man happy. Okay, let me tell you something. Todd had had six figure job working behind the production before he met Candy. Okay, he was perfectly fine. He had a condo in New York. He was perfectly fine. He was taking care of his daughter before he met Candy. Okay, this oh, man was was a great father before he met her. So I don't I didn't take that away from him. He was gonna be a great father when he got with Candy. Okay, that's just how he is. Okay, that man is vicious. But yeah, he. Yeah, Candy happened to have more money than him, but that don't make that don't that don't take away from what he had before he got with her. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, she done had some she done had some scrubs before. At least okay. she didn't come in and get no scrubs because let me tell y'all something now. We we seen some scrubs she done dated. So yeah, let's not go there. Cause, and then and, and then go. I'm gonna assume you're talking to smoke, but go ahead, keep going. Yeah, but here's the thing. Let me tell you something. What, what, what was it? Here's the thing. Let me tell you. And Marlo, let me tell you something. Marlo better watch herself, okay? Because let me tell you something. The boys was slowly trying to slip up and tell her that she was still hurting their feelings. Because let me tell you, they caught themselves. They were like, yeah, you hurt our feelings. But but then you came around and you turned it around. No, them kids really wanted to say, yeah, you really hurt our feelings. You know, you put us out. You said you put us out on TV. You blasted us. Them kids probably made fun of them kids. Let me tell you something. You don't never tell nobody you kicking them out. And then you yeah. send them to somebody else's house who got two yeah. kids and staying in a two-bedroom apartment. My mate, that makes sense. My I'm going to need you to go get you a, a, a whole life, okay? And then this Courtney girl, I don't know where she came from, but you could twirl your way right on back out, okay? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Where did that uh, Absolutely. Okay. Gone with the wind. All right. Uh, were you done, uh, opinion? <laughs> this is funny. Gone with the wind. Yeah, because I'm going to reserve, I'm a reserve my, you know, on, on this um, Roy back. I'm going to reserve my time on him because I ain't seen him yet. But let me tell you, Kenya, don't come to me with no bull and tell, try to tell me it's, um, it's Kool Aid because I ain't going to believe it. Damn. Okay. Uh, second new person, Wayne, sound off. Hey, Sherelle, this is my second time. But y'all ain't going to like me. First oh, of all, ooh, candy's oh. the best thing to hit the housewives. Second of all, <laughs> they come, come, come off mute. Candy, Diva's got money. candy has money. Y'all can say she don't have talent, but she got talent. Mm -hmm. uh, She's been singing for a long time. Mm -hmm. When men make money like that, look at, uh, what's his name? Uh, Beyonce's husband. Jay -Z. They, Jay -Z. Are billionaires. Jay -Z. They, they don't say nothing when they make a big bag. Okay, because Candy got several bags. I tell you one thing, she's going to be all right once the Atlanta Housewives is over. She's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen to the rest of them biddies? Holla. Oh, don't Ooh. say that. Can you? Yeah, no, 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 not right. biddies. Did you say biddies? Wait, wait, can we, but can we speak on this? Um, Beyonce isn't on the Housewives. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But, I mean, they said, look, at remember, you know, Diana Ross, they called her a bitch because her business taxes and stuff like that. But you got to do what you got to do. Second of all, it's 24 hours in a day. Y'all don't know what Candy and her husband do with her kids. Y'all only see what's on television. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, in, let me interject. Okay. If I don't know, you don't know neither, right? So, and one thing, and one thing you did say that was correct. I think it was Dwayne. What was your name again? Wayne. 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 Yeah. One thing you said correct. First statement was the only correct statement you made is I ain't going to like what you had to say. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. 
<laughs> Look, I'm a candy cane. No, I, 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 he's on the payroll, Perry. That's why he's on the payroll, just like Diva. Exactly. On the payroll, like Diva. Because only drug was a Diva. We just was the givers. Anytime we see the kids on TV, we see that they are complaining. I'm not saying that she's a bad mother, but I, we are. I'm just saying that she could take more time for them because they are complaining. In okay, let's let, let, let talk finish. Let's talk finish. You guys. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Wayne. Go ahead, Wayne. Go ahead, Todd. I meant Wayne. Wayne, 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 you speaking the facts, Wayne. Drop the knowledge to the people. Okay. Oh God. Here she goes. Here she go. Here she go. They mad because Candy is still is still standing. Sheree is not gonna be able to hold it down. You know, look how long did it take her to build that house? But I mean, she got it, thank God. But Sherelle is not gonna be I mean, not Sherelle <laughs> is not gonna be able to hold it down. She thinks because she's the last one standing on the original you. housewives that she gonna maybe be another needy or something. No, it ain't happening. So y'all okay. stay mad at Candy. Every time you look, she don't do nothing right. When she pop off, you want to say something. But the same way with that girl, Courtney. Courtney got in her face, jumped right in her face, off the bat, <laughs> talking about, oh, I heard you passing, uh, uh, you calling around asking about me. And Candy, like, you know, what? So, you know, and Candy didn't jump right off, but she would have got under my skin, too. Candy say, <laughs> I feel like I want to bump, what you call it, bump head or whatever. So, head butter. Head butter. Head butter. And yeah. Wayne, I got a question for you. Like, yeah, I do agree with the clout chaser, Courtney, right? See, because me and you are hit yes. and miss. Like, you'll say one truth, then you'll just make up some shit and be team candy, <laughs> and then you'll come back, right? That ain't me. That ain't the me. whole thing is, right? Like, you said, how long did it take Sheree to build that house? How long, how many years did it take Candy to groom Todd? <gasps> Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Not grooming oh, the man. You know you all for that one. Oh, uh -uh, Perry, come back on camera and say that with your chest. No, I said it. I just wanted to know how long did it take Candy to groom Todd? Like, Perry, you you're, know, you're going too far. You got producers, camera men, they out there filming behind the stage, you know, pointing in. Don't don't leave you had money. Hey, 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 young man, would you like some candy? <laughs> hey, he said, "Why not?" The whole neighborhood had it. Right. Oh, Harry, oh, Harry, Harry, like please, please, Todd had. Todd was working before he wasn't no deadbeat. Okay, the only difference is Candy got more money now. They married. Okay, he got a nice come up. He got a nice Zero woman. Reach. She got a nice man. Stop hating. Oh boy. All right. Uh, and you see this most you're the second best new caller, Wayne. You you didn't hold back. You held your ground. And Diva loves you, by the way. She loves you. And I love oh, me some candy, okay? Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, Terry, Terry, sound off before you cut, get cut off again. Hurry, hurry, Terrence. Can you hear me okay today? I can't. Oh, you did it. It sounds good. Okay. Hey, how everybody doing? Hey. I got to say, this episode, all the women showed up to work. And they clocked in and they did some work. You got to give it to them. All of them clocked in. Well, that's a joke. Now, I'm just not going to take um, too much time. First of all, the first 20 minutes, here she go. Wham! Turn that at me. Wham! It's not good. I'm sitting up time with him. Wham! Todd, get off that computer and come raise these kids because I can't do it. That's all she do is whine. Is she going to whine the whole season? She needs to come out with some cheese. The candy birds. Cheese to go with all that whining that he does. I am so tired of bowling ball candy bars. She is oh a bowling ball. ball. That's oh. right. Just like a bowling ball. All can, three can holes are going to get hold, hold on, hold on, All Terrence. three holes are going to get Terrence, 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 hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, Terrence. Why are you calling candy bowling ball? Because just like a bowling ball, all three holes are going to get penetrated over and over and over again. <laughs> that's what she is, a bowling ball. God ain't going nowhere because she needs to have right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, good. Stop, stop, stop. T Terrence, Terrence, My Terrence. pearls. Hold on. Terrence, isn't that a little harsh? <laughs> Come, come she on, has Tara. Threesomes, don't she? Give him she a has a wedding ring. A wedding ring is a symbol of a bond that can't be penetrated. They penetrate everybody all over Atlanta. They don't respect <laughs> our marriage by us, so why should we? Her okay, own Tara, baby Tara, daddy. Tara, 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 say, you got a lot of emotion going on. Who's been penetrating Candy? See, that, that, mm -hmm. that's 
kind of Todd and Tandy have been penetrating people all over Atlanta with it having them threesome. That's what oh I'm Lord. saying. Oh, Lord. Cheryl, you didn't know that? Candy does the baby. You know <laughs> she did a video that says she does threesomes. This I is know not it. Say. She said it herself. Mm -hmm. I know, just to get out of the cup here, you a little harsh? Come on. No. I mean, no. between you and me. Hold no. on. Brock said last year in an interview that Candy and him were sleeping together and he was um, married. Y'all called me a hoe. Don't that make Candy a hoe, too? Well, you know what, what my you're right. In my book, <laughs> me and so Gordon went when you do. was married. That's why she's a whore. Well, I'm was married I mean, let me say this. Let me say this. I mean, in between her, because everybody want to praise her. I know Wayne and Diva. Oh, <laughs> she's a businesswoman. Got five, six, seven, eight jobs. In between the five, six, seven, eight jobs she got and the threesomes. Who got time for the kids? Now, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. She's a great songwriter. She <laughs> all all hoes. Hoes. We all hoes in our way. Oscars is not gonna, you know, vote her. her with her background. She may win a Tony or whatever. But Candy is a bottom feeder. She's gonna be Ooh. Ooh. Oh. on the bottom on her back. Okay, Terrence, Terrence. Oh I, okay. I get you don't like Candy, but you're well, coming damn. up from top. Candy has the most money on the show. How's she a bottom feeder? Because she likes to be on the bottom. That's how she's a bottom feeder. She likes <laughs> the bottom. That's how she's a bottom feeder. And y'all, that's like I just said, y'all call me a hoe when me and a single with a married person, but you don't want to call Candy a hoe. Y'all got double standards because Candy got exactly. money. That's not right. Money. Was it you that's why she's a whore. No, I'm just saying, because you're not going to call me a hoe. I'm a married man. That's all I'm saying. You don't, I don't mind. I mean, everybody had their opinions, but you don't think calling somebody a hoe is a little okay, harsh? Right, right, right. So maybe we get the minus the H. call me a hoe all last yeah, season. I know, I know. Y'all called Portia a hoe. We did. We did. But I do understand well, Portia is. is. If it's good enough. And so is Candy. So what's the difference? Because Candy got money? Same lifestyle. Diva about to have an angerism. Diva, shut up. Fix your face, Diva. Fix your face. Fix your face. First of all, if two people agree in the marriage that that's what they want to do, that's what that husband and wife agreed upon. I that's not a marriage it, then. But that's what well, whatever. That's, 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 their, that's their marriage. So it's not as if one of them is going out sneaking around behind exactly. each other and doing it. That would be something a little different. But whatever you do in the bedroom, that don't equate to what you do as a mother. Okay. So there's plenty of everyday people that work seven jobs. And they don't get to see their kids that much. Why are we charging candy? Just y'all, y'all, you running her pockets, you're policing her money, and we we're not gonna do that, okay? Because Diva, Diva, no, if you if you are the doing it, I should put you on that. Diva, it's not that not a good person, right? Because really, no, she's not. No, I'm saying it's really not that deep. Because you would say, and I, I took the message when you talk about people counting their pockets. Look, that's what Candy fans bring up all the time, how much money she got. Exactly. Right? Talking about her behavior. Okay. Okay? Exactly. Raise the money. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if, if it fit for Mia, uh, what was his name? Mia from, from Potomac? P Potomac? Potomac Mia. Oh. How come it don't fit for Candy? Exactly. And then, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> What do, you, what, do, what do you mean, Harry? I, uh, let me just okay, say this. Okay. Oh, he's, talking about the whole title. Okay, okay. he's talking about the whole title. You we know, know they got married. And you can say, well, you know, how can you criticize somebody marriage this and that? What they bring in their house? Yeah, it is what they do, but from the outside, people have an opinion. Right, right, right. Okay. I can accept with a married now, man. And is so is that something know. you would accept in your life? Me? And you gonna stop it? Listen, listen, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't no, no, no. I'm messing with you. Hold on, y'all. Let, let, let me let Terrence finish up. Let's let Terrence okay. finish up. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Terrence. You've been continue the dragging. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not stressing any woman. I'm just calling you all out for the hypocrisy that y'all do because y'all call yeah. me yeah. and um, Portia a hoe, oh, but you can't say Candy's a hoe because Candy is rich, and that's not okay, right. Okay, let me say, let me say this really quick. You are right. We did call Mia a hoe, so we just, mm -hmm. sorry, Mia. We did. <laughs> yeah, and Mia oh, slept with a man, man, and so did Candy. And also, too, Diva, last year, then her own husband said. She moved him in without even flipping the mattress. If Todd, Todd said that last year, 
when he was talking about the condo. See, so therefore, he shouldn't have said that if he didn't mean it or if it was clickbait. He shouldn't have said that then. He said about his own wife. Yeah, no, okay. that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I agree with you, Dot Todd. Now I'm seeing a different side of Todd. I'm seeing him. We see each other. Because you know what? Todd is being disrespectful. He's biting the hand that's feeding him. What? That's what but here's, the, here's the thing, though. Todd, at the end, Todd is not going to win. Because he signed that prenup, and he signed it on TV, and it was recorded, okay? So Todd better tread lightly. And you you slept with her in that bed without her flipping the mattress, Todd. And listen, he had a condo in the city that needed renovations, okay? So he right. didn't get that condo renovated until he got with Candy and had to use Candy funds in order to renovate that uh -uh. New York condo or Jersey condo or wherever it's yeah. at. So all I'm saying is Ace loves Candy. Um, Riley loves Candy, and she loved that money, too, because Riley would not be in New York City right now living her best life in a penthouse apartment up in the sky with her Range Rover downstairs waiting for her, going to law school completely debt-free if it wasn't for her mama in these streets hustling, okay? So, but, Diva, also, too, all money is not good money. You keep bringing up the money thing. All Thank money you. Is good money. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough for Riley, though. It's good That's enough for Riley. If Riley didn't like the money, Riley could say, you know what, Mom? I'm going to go in the city and do this on my own. And guess where she would be? She wouldn't be in that penthouse. But Candy said she give her the money because she felt guilty because she didn't raise her because she was on the road with her skate, too, Diva. It's two sides to every story. You got to pick up for Candy, and I understand yeah. that. But I want to move on to Mono real quick. because oh. Hold on, hold on. Like hold on. You, you okay over there, Wayne? I see you hyperventilating. You all right? Yeah. It's okay. okay. I'm it. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Terrence. Go ahead. Okay. I want to move on to Mondo because I have a double standard with her too. Mondo did not unalive that young lady's life. She only went to jail for assault and she went to jail for violating her probation. And y'all act like the 70% of Americans have not committed a crime and still have to work. Stop hating on Marlo. You have no reason to hate this woman. And y'all don't have no proof that that woman mm -hmm. is made up. Actually, Candy brought that up. Yeah, and Candy said her face. Hate Marlo. So was, was her cousin a John of Marlo's? Stop saying that y'all don't know where they want to get her money from. She get her money from the show. And she's doing the best she can <laughs> do. And it's good that people see regular people come up. Everybody ain't like Candy and got a hustle with 99 million jobs mm -hmm. and they left their family and have threesome and want to be worldwide. Cheryl, can I ask a question? Cheryl, can I ask Terrence a question? Got, that they're not going to get, yeah. okay? Terrence, can I ask you a question? If yeah. Rehal Wife of Atlanta is Marlo's only job, why does she have a motorized scooter at the bottom of her stairs? Who's going up and down them stairs in her house? It doesn't matter. It's not on the show. We are the it's on, on the show. We see it. it. <laughs> we see it. it. All right, y'all. So look, look, look. look. I'm, I'm going important. on two hours. I got to uh, end this here. Diva <laughs> will be picking up the conversation on her <laughs> channel. What time are you going on, Diva? She's so crazy. <laughs> at eight o'clock. That's right. That's right, Terrence. What is the motorized lifting up and down the stairs for? Come on now. But don't worry. It ain't for a John. It don't mean it is for a John. It is for a John. It doesn't matter, right? Some people do that for a living. Some people do it after they make bank. Like if, you know, if she was doing something illegal, she'd been in the show for twelve years. The they would have caught her by now, guys. Can we, can we just say? Yeah. Oh, she, can we say we all love really each other? Free. I love you, I love But Sherelle, what we're not going to do is we're not going to sit here and let people talk with the lies. That's what we're not going to do. So that's why it's contentious sometimes. But it's all love at the end of the day. Yes, all love. Candy forever. All right. Yes. Do y'all hear Wayne in the background? Do you hear poor little Wayne? Wayne is there candy forever. I can hear it. And then when Christmas comes, I'm going to send him a candy t shirt too. I'm going to send him a bowling ball so he can penetrate the bowling ball like candy do. All right, you guys, I never go this long. I still got two other videos to do. Go to Diva's channel tonight at 8 o'clock. Yeah, two hours. Yeah, it's been two hours. Y'all have been arguing for two hours. So, bro, you said you wanted this as soon as you were talking about it. I was like, I want people to fight. Now that we fight, you get getting mad. <laughs> yeah, it's not two hours. I mean, y'all have been dragging. You know, I was coming with the smoke. I told her last week. Smoke, smoke. She trying to save Diva and Wayne. 
She is. Don't worry. I got Diva for round two on her on her platform. So get your best friend. I was coming for her um, last week. So she do all, all right, time. you guys. Look, I got a lot of super chats this video. I cannot believe it. Thank you. Uh, great hair. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on, Austin. I want to thank everyone for your super chats. Oh my God, I couldn't believe how many super chats I got. I really appreciate it. You don't have to support the channel, but you do. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry backstage, I cannot get to your call. You, y'all heard of these people arguing. They, they, I lost control. I lost control. Oh, chat, please don't forget to click uh, like on your way out, that like button. Oh my God. What else do we have to say? Anything else? Same fight. Up, I'm good. I'm good. It was a good show. It was a great show. It was, it was a great show, Cheryl. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 He was yeah. going yeah. on at eight. At eight yeah. o'clock, and you can go over there. I'm so sorry. I, I'm I'm out. I'm out of time. Diva, I'll see you at <laughs> eight <laughs> after I finish door dash. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Check yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I want to say, you know what? We mm -hmm. can agree to disagree. Yes. I still love you, Diva and Wayne. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Also, <laughs> you guys, uh, me and Perry are going. I won't go at eight. Let's maybe let's do it an hour. That way we don't interfere okay, with okay, the show. I'm good. I'm good. We're going on uh, members only in a, probably 20 minutes. Just to give you a brief update, I won't be on longer than 20 minutes. It's going to be very short. All right, you guys, on three. Let's everybody say bye. One, bye. two, three. Bye, bye. guys. Bye.